what is up guys it's guilt spire here and welcome back to dead by daylight how y'all doing today on this terrific tuesday afternoon hopefully you all are doing well i know i am I do apologize for the slight today in today's stream. I was cooking today and decided to make a corn salad with a pan seared chicken. It went pretty well, uh, all things considered, but it took a little bit longer than anticipated. So had to finish eating, get ready, come back, yada, yada, yada. But here I am. And with that being said, we are once again jumping in for some more Survivor. So if you are interested in joining, tis now the time to redeem the swift queue, but tis up to you, of course, if you want to join for some uh, chaos and mayhem that is Survivor. So far I've been, been having a lot of fun, been having a lot of fun, but what have you all been up to today, if anything much? I'm real quick, just going to open up my popsicle. There we go. Yo, what's up, Steam? How it goes? Let me get your VIP real quick, my friend. But, yeah, normally I would, uh, I've already finished eating for the most part. But, of course, tis not the case this morning. Or this afternoon. Morning, technically, for me. I wake up at, like, 1 p.m. I cook at 3. I stream at 5. I have a pretty, pretty, uh uniform schedule or consistent schedule I suppose all right let's ready on up and see how solo Q treats us this afternoon do I have a lot of faith not really no but uh, fingers crossed at least you can always hope for a better situation Going to do some kill your friends later? Me? No. Swift, yes. So, I mean, I was more than welcome to have anyone join me on this one, but if you are looking to do so next match, tis the time to redeem the Swift Q. Alright, still waiting on these last two. And sounds like a plan. I will pick you up right after this match. There we go. Almost dropped a piece of my ice cream. That would have been disappointing. I swear to God, people just do not know how to do basic mathematics. It's not that hard to realize that if all of us bring cakes, you will get more blood points across the board. <sighs> but alas, people still bring their envelopes or whatever. Low ranks of ours never want to bring cakes. Yeah, unfortunately, it is a a cycle, isn't it? One group doesn't bring cakes, then next time you play, you're going, well, I bet these of ours aren't going to bring cakes. So on and so on and so on. And it's kind of just a self feeding loop. Oh, it's a nurse. Ooh. Nurse of Thana? That might be interesting. Let's see how long Dwight here lasts in a chase with this nurse. So far, it's been roughly 20 seconds. Hard to tell with the additional time on Thana. Uh, Dwight didn't last too long, but he didn't really make it too short either. 
based on the amount of time that it took for that gen to get finished, I would argue that that was two people on that gen. With through thyself, I'm not sure though. Receiving shards either for a survivor or a killer, but I don't know who to get. Are you looking to, like, I guess on Survivor, the only reason why you grab one, in my opinion, is if you want their perks. If it's in, uh, if you want to, like, change your style of play or what have you, then you're going to want to instead grab a killer. And, of course, you could grab that both for them to, ha you know, for fun, as well as for their perks, depending on who you don't have yet. All right, well, let's rotate. Two gens done is not bad by any stretch of imagination. I think Hatch spawns right there. Duly noted. That might be an important thing to keep in mind. Shocked that Ace, of all people, hasn't gotten the unhook. Bet you she's gonna come over here. Oh, she's in basement. Why'd you look at that? Ace is going for the unhook. And he's back down in basement. He shouldn't have been so obvious. He needs to draw her away for someone else to get the unhook. But she's just way too close right now. Alright, I'll go for it, but I don't have BT, which is a bit of an issue. Alright, I think she should be far enough away now. Let's run. Have that. Yep, that's what I figured would be the case. As long as Meg doesn't go back down, that'd be ideal. Nicely done. This nurse seems to know what she's doing. For better or for worse. She might try and bring him back to basement. No, she won't. That's good, at least. As long as I'm not going back down in basement, I'm not too upset here. She has sloppy, too. Now, that is interesting. She also might have barbecue and chili, because she went directly for the Meg, who I believe is outside of 40 meters. So, she probably saw her healing, opted to go for the down. Nice. Heal, please. It's going to take 25% longer thanks to Sloppy, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, Meg can hold out till then. My next hope would be that Ace here actually ends up taking a chase. Well, you suck. Sloppy Butcher literally gave her that down. There's not much I can do now except for just sit here and hope that another survivor will pick me up. Because she's hit Dwight now. Ace could theoretically come back if he's not been spotted. I wasn't expecting her to come back to the unhook. I'll be honest with you. Ace takes a hit. Meg would be the main person to come for me. Wonder if she'll come back and pick me up. Yep, sure enough. Yo, what's up, Salmon? How goes it? How goes it? Well, that was certainly less than ideal there. I have two people healing. They pretty much need to stack up and heal. One person in chase. Yeah, she has barbecue. There's no way about... No if ends or buts about that, I think. Playing some enlisted recently, it's okay, but still not my kind of milsim. Military sim simulations are something else, I will say. Interesting, so Nurse was not on top of them. But she comes back to my unhook because she probably saw scratch marks heading towards. Maybe. If the person coming for me isn't careful, I will die on hook. In fact, I think I just am going to die on hook. Yeah, what's up, Pixel? 
How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I am Mark, aka Guilt Spar. I'm an educational killer main here to teach killers how to play killer and survivors how to play against killer. Though for this event we are doing survive with friends every single day. Though unfortunately as I do end up solo queuing, I'm not doing a whole lot of surviving. Unfortunately, the my survivor team here was uh, not all true altruistic to put it that way. You're a sucker for milsim games, like the ones that pique my fancy or squad and insurgency. I don't think I've ever played those, to be honest. But I'm happy to hear that you are enjoying them nonetheless. But what brings you here, Pixel, out of curiosity? I'm out of house right now, but I hope to be able to join later. Sounds good, Salmon. And Steamed, when you are ready, feel free to join at your leisure. I, on the other hand, gonna grab this cake. And try and set up for the next blood web. Um, real question is how do I go about doing that? At least effectively. Okay. Let's do that. Um Yeah, let's just grab this. And then I guess I'll grab this and the brown thereafter. I think that probably is the best play. But Steam, are you ready or should I ready up for another match? I don't think I see you online as of right now. Yeah, I'm just going to be lurking today. I have a friend coming over with my brother. We're going to do some Warhammer painting. Hey! Well, that is wicked, wicked exciting rag. I'm here on gamer-friendly business. Ah, gamer-friendly business. Fair play, fair play. I'm hoping you're having an amazing day. Out of curiosity, Pixel, do you play Dead by Daylight? If so, we are swift enough, as I did mention before. Would love to have you play some swift with us. Alright, so looks like right now we are... Yes, love the game. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, Dead by Daylight. I've been full-time streaming Dead by Daylight since November of last year now. So, it's uh, it's been a journey, to say the least. Got into competitive Dead by Daylight at my own competitive league now. It's uh, been a fun old time, to say the least. And I'm enjoying the event. Are you on PC or are you on console, out of curiosity? If you're on console, how have things been for performance-wise? Hopefully not too horrible. PC? I am also on PC. Thankfully, my beast of machine has not resulted in any performance issues for the most part. There have been a few stutters here and there, but outside of that, uh, nothing too serious. I should probably throw on a med kit, shouldn't I? If I don't, then that would be problematic. But as I mentioned, I, I main killer. How about you? Are you survivor main, killer main, a little bit of both? Right now, I've decided to become a survivor main for the remainder of this uh, event as I want to play with it, my community and, you know, stack cakes, make the most of it while we have the time. All right, so I still need to get this head-on challenge. Easier said than done, to say the least. Are you doing any challenges, Steamed, or are you just playing for the sake of playing out of curiosity? I have inner strength, so I don't need any med kits, only totems. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let me know if, in instance, that you don't have inner strength after being hooked, and I have my med kits still charged. Um, use the wave 2 motion, just to let me know so I can heal you. Or rather, give you a med kit so you can be healed. I want to ensure that I've been playing since the beta. Yeah, I, I played... I never played the beta. I played as soon as it came out six years ago. Right? No, five years. Five years ago. F fifth year anniversary, not sixth year anniversary. Uh, five years ago. Um, on and off, pretty much. I was always Red Rain Killer on console, and then, you know, this last year, I finally got into PC, and, uh... Very happy to have made the jump to PC, I'll put it that way. Only playing for hell of, mostly working on killer, fair play, fair play. Well, as long as we get these cakes in, you should be able to get enough blood points to make it worth your while. I just really need to get this freaking head-on challenge. Without comms, it's kind of difficult to make it work to my advantage. I have to kind of try and do something cheeky while in chase, which is a little bit risky. Oh, it kicked you out? Well, let's leave lobby then. 
That's unfortunate. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Gave me an error message. What's the error message out of curiosity? It might be something that you might have to restart the game for. DVD being DVD after all. But if you want to play it safe, I'd say restart. If you want to try again, let's ready on up and see if it happens. If it happens again, I'd say definitely restart. That would be the way to do it. Could not connect to servers. Uh, is it allowing you to ready up? It is, but it immediately kicked you. So in that case, restart your game. Uh, and it should clear that error. Keywords being should, of course. I'll also restart the lobby just to play it safe. Let's see. While we're waiting, let's take a look at Killer. Hello, Wraith Me Boy. You are on page five. You are on page six, Billy, but I don't think you have all the perks yet. No, it's row two now. Page six on nurse, but probably row one. Yep. Huntress, page six, but still some yellows. So you still need some work too. Hello, Myers, me boy. Has never gave me that error message before. I've gotten a few times. It's relatively common from what I see. Yeah, so everyone still needs a bit of work. I think Trapper might be the first killer of all the perks as of this moment. There's Fred Boy. You, pig, need a lot of work. You're still on page four. Clown's on his way to finishing. Spirit, number one. Yeah, so for the most part, I have pretty much six pages on almost everyone. There's a few select that aren't. I saw you back online, so I'll jump back onto Survivor for now. Man, it's gonna feel like a different world again when I jump back on Killer for the 60 million blood point challenge. I can't wait to actually do that challenge, by the way. Um, I'm gonna be tagging the DVD content creator that put that challenge out in the first place. And I think that I can probably beat that challenge with less time played. Because I think they spent upwards of like 300 some hours over the course of 30 days, about 10 hours a day, to get 60 million blood points. Yo, what's up, big dog? How it goes? It? How it goes? It? You ready to swift up, my friend? This ad? <laughs> hey, keep in mind that the ads do support me, and if you do not want ads, you can always subscribe instead. Tis a perk, of course. Didn't hear anything you just said? I was saying how you doing today, and are you ready to swift up, my friend? If so, feel free to join at your leisure. I'm doing well, doing well. Cannot complain. I, uh, I made a corn salad with red onions and some uh, honey butter chicken. It was pretty good. You know what? You're right. One sec. I'm right about that. As confused. But when you're ready, big dog, feel free to ready on up. Oh, perfect. And so far, the queue times have been pretty short. Subscribe to Guilt. <laughs> I appreciate it, Steamed. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, there you go. Thank you much for the sub, big dog. I do appreciate it. And I think I have a lot more emotes now since you, you were last subbed, actually. We got all the new ones from Sophie. Which, speaking of, I still need to figure out what I want for emotes for um, Champions of the Fog, don't I? I, I, st I have a while until that that is something I have to think about, but... I, I think I want to, especially now with the emote library, where I don't have to re-verify every single time. I'm thinking about potentially getting the team logos as emotes. But the thing is, like, teams change. You know, we saw Z-Wall Gaming disband, Envy disband. So I don't know if it's a good investment. If it's a good investment... On one hand, I was going to say that. Like, on one hand, I feel like it might not be a good investment... 
because it means that I have to pay for no new emotes every time a team changes their name or leaves or merges with another team, what have you, right? Um, on the other hand, what other emotes could I do? I could do a, like a multi-emote string, as Lord Typhon has said that, but true. Um, like if we got enough subs and enough backing financially from the community to do that, I'd definitely be willing to do so. Um, I know I talked to different teams before about the option of, uh, getting a professional logo done and then paying for a portion of it. Um, alternatively, I could just do more generic emotes, um, that are more cheer focused, quote unquote cheer focused, where you could, you know, cheer on the killer team or the survivor team. It doesn't have to be, you know, let's go sample text or let's go dosh, right? It could be just, uh, you know, let's go killer. Um, have let's go be one word or one emote or two emotes and then killer or survivor. The King Bo Doku. Good luck. Are you the killer or survivor, my friend? I'm curious. But good luck nonetheless to you as well. And I do appreciate stopping by saying hi and welcome to the Guilty Ones. Would love for you to join our community Discord as well as our YouTube channel if you are interested. On our YouTube, you can find some Binding of Isaac, Subnautica, Resident Evil, Outlast, Dead by Daylight, and a whole lot more. Retro cake? What do you mean retro cake? You're talking about like a, a, a escape cake or are you talking about like a gruesome gato? I wasn't paying attention to the offerings, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> All right, well, I think this match should go a whole lot better now that we don't have a full solo queue, Swift. Fourth year anniversary cake. Okay, so that would be the the ghastly gato, if I'm not mistaken. Good luck, have fun, my friend. Are you using Prove Thyself, Big Dog, out of curiosity? If you are, you are? Okay. So in that case, I'll pay attention to that and try and double up on gems with you. Excuse me. Whenever I'm looking around for gens and I see someone else on it, I always pass by them, see if they have Prove Thyself, try and get more efficiency going. But otherwise, always best to jump on separate gens. A, you can fake out Tinker. B, you never trigger Discordance. And C, a, no efficiency penalty. BT, Prove, Spine, Iron Will. All right, sounds good. Yeah, once I get this head on, I'm going to probably run my Prove Thyself build. I think that would be a smart idea. Yeah, I saw another loading screen which I haven't seen thus far. I wonder how many there are total. I kind of wish that the behavior, maybe at the end of the event, I kind of wish that they would like post all of these in an album. I just like head on, I just can't get the hang of it and it's triggering. I am the same way. Unless I'm in like full on co communications with someone, I just can't get a lot of head on value. Though I will say big dog, if you get in chase, go to shack. If I notice you injured, I will uh, go to the locker next to, um, next to the door. Alright, so let's split on gens. Since that wasn't big dog. Looks like Steam's in chase. Steam, that goes for you as well. Since you're injured, if you head towards Shack and are able to make it there, I will try and head on for you. Here by Pig Tree, noted. Yeah, if you can get the Shack, I'll head on. Nope, not happening. Unless I wonder if he brings to basement, maybe? Let's find out. I don't think I'd be able to get the head on if so, but I guess this will avoid barbecue at the very least. Four, three, two, one. Huh. Yeah, I was about to say that just popped up. Now there's Fredboy. And I think he's on the other Claude. Freddy's either fake teleporting or committing to it. I'm not sure which. Just in case that you don't have a totem already. All right, you got him. All right, let's stay within 40 meters. 
He's going to basement, I imagine. Thankfully, there's no ruin. Yep, going to basement, all right. Let's see where he goes. All right, let's wait a little bit. Here you go. Have med kit. All right, you're injured. Go to shack if you can. I'll try and head on for you at door. Well, that's unfortunate timing. So remember that whole part of me giving you the med kit so you could heal yourself? I think that may have been the right move, my friend. I know you have inner strength, but you don't have a, if you don't have a totem prepped for it. It's kind of nonsensical. And also, how do you end up on me? I think he must have Tinkerer based on that info right there. Come on, Fred boy, where are you going? Are right, he's looping me the right way? I need to drop early. I'm gonna head towards, no I'm not. I'm gonna try and link this tile instead. If you put down a snare, you could probably get me here, Freddy. Uh, I should have saw that one coming. On the bright side, I am taking a hook state where Steam does not, so that works out in my favor. Or at least in our favor. Oh, so close, big dog. I thought you had the right angle, but apparently not. I don't know what this clot is doing. Whatever it is, it's kind of stupid. Sorry to say, Claudie, but that is not the right move because it means that you're going to be immediately in chase now. He's putting down dream snares. That's such a bad idea as a Freddy to put down dream snares. I'll be honest with you. Like, to put dream snares around the hook, all a survivor needs to do now is to go for their alarm clock before getting me. Was a hair off? Oof. I feel that. Keep in mind, like I said, there are dream snares around the hook. So if you trigger it, he will be aware. Uh, I guess that worked out. There's one dream snare. And looks like Steamed is now in chase. Once again, as I mentioned before, if you can get to Shaq, I will try and head on for you. Try and extend chase where possible. That is... Where the hell did you get down? Did you get insta-picked up? You must have. Let's avoid barbecue. Where is he going? I heard a Terry's for a moment there. Five, four, three, two, one. Yo, what's up, Slobby? How goes it? How you doing today, my friend? Big dog, get the shack. You were right by it. I could head on for you, my friend. Bye, Freddy. Kick rocks, mate. So, a nice part about Dance With Me in conjunction with that, he has no idea where I am. He gets stunned and I have no scratch marks thereafter. Iron Will on top of that hides everything else and quick and quiet's already back up. Just pick, taking a break from Survivor. Killers have been awful today? Really? I played my first game against a nurse in solo queue. It didn't go too well. Also, we need to make sure that Steam gets healed up soon. Steam does... Not exactly what I call in a good spot. Big dog, if you go back to Shack, I'll be there in just a few seconds. I'll try and get a head on for you. Yep, I'm prepped for the head on, but no dice. I should probably stick in here to avoid the barbecue trigger. Uh, Steam, I'd recommend you jump in the locker too if you don't want to get hit by barbecue. Let's see. Where is he bringing you? Four, three, two, one. Now? He's teleporting. So I can unhook you and heal, I think. Hi there, let's heal you. Wait. 
Wasn't Freddy on you, Claude? Mother trucker. You gotta be joking me, though. Claude literally brought her directly to the hook. Or brought him directly to the hook. Oh, that sucks. I was like, wait one second. Oh, that's steam. That's great. Alright, try and get in front of the locker. Let's see. Okay, he's still going to go in basement, probably. Hold on. 25. Oh, he's going away. Well, crap. Okay, barbecue. He'll probably come for you now. 75. I'll wait for the head on. He's coming. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I think we can get you. The lullaby's going away. Oh, what the hell? What just happened there? Oh, that's so strange. My heel... So, huh. I've never had that happen before. But when I went to heal you and hit the skill check, it triggered and instead readied up for uh, the locker. Wow. That's an unusual one I've never seen. He's in chase with me still. Let's go to this tile, Fred boy. All right, he dropped off of me. He just teleported. Well, I guess I'll have to pay attention to that. Don't heal in front of lockers, vaults, or pallets. Lest I interact instead. Oh, what the hell? He must have had Tinker. Ah! Yeah, he must have got Tinkered, I guess. I do see two people on Gen, so that would make sense. And to be honest, it's better that I go unhooked than anyone else at this point, but we're way behind ratio. So, Barbecue, Tinker, Pop. I don't know what his fourth perk is, I'll be honest. But those three, I do believe, make the most sense. What could be his fourth perk? So it looks like Steam is in the chase now. Uh, if I could get a heal, that would be appreciated. Steam is currently in chase. It'd be awesome if Big Dog could take a take aggro, but I don't think it's gonna happen in time. So it might be best for us to jump on Jens and try and crank him out. He has barbecue. I almost guarantee that fact. So let's see what happens here. If he starts teleporting, it's obvious enough. And I think he has Tinker too, which means as soon as I hit 70, he'll teleport as well. Let's see. Yep, as was expected. That is 110% barbecue. Big Dog takes a hit. That's actually good news. Yeah, Fred Freddy played this well. I mean, this is what Freddy does. He just pushes you around the map. I think he was just seeing Barbecue, and with Barbecue, though you can't necessarily tell exactly who is who. Let me heal you first, if we don't. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, a little bit of a lesson. Run. He's coming. He's on you. Got him to miss. But he's still gonna be on you right now. If you loop Shaq, I might be able to help out. I mean, Freddy's doing what Freddy does. Alright, I took a hit for you. And looks like he's still going to be on you, so you have time. Let's continue to repair this gen. 
Right now we need to make sure that no one goes on the hook at this point. I mean, between Tinker and Barbecue, they're working their perks rather well and making good use of it. <sighs> Unfortunately, Freddy is hypermobile and just makes short work of patrols. So I'm going to bring this up. Ooh, that's not good. And there's no way in hell we're going to... They're right there. I'm going to keep this gen at 50 and leave early. I think... Yeah, except leaving early doesn't do me any good, does it? Let's double back after barbecue ends. There's the pop. I'm surprised he didn't notice the scratch marks, I'll be honest. He's looking for me as we speak. Alright, he's going to be on you soon, big dog. Honestly, our only hope is going to be probably going for an exit gate play here. Once he finds Hatch. But that requires that whoever gets down next, the other person needs to jump into a locker so they avoid the barbecue trigger. Freddy on treatment theater sucks. I mean, Freddy, Freddy's just a difficult killer to play against in general. You need a well-coordinated team, and it can be difficult, not on comms. People don't think about that, but Freddy's still very, very oppressive. Problem. As soon as I tinker the gen, he'll teleport. Yep, there's 70. What the hell? Oh, he must... I wonder. I don't know. I would recommend jumping into a locker, big dog. I don't know if he teleported on that. He may have just walked over and slapped me. Huh. I mean, that would make sense. He's slugging for the 4k. I'm already at 75%. He's not picking up yet. I guess I'll crawl to a corner and call it a day. I'm doing well. I'm doing pretty well, Beast. I'm doing pretty well. How about you? What have you been up to, if anything much? Oh, did he find you? No, thankfully not. Oh, you're healing yourself. That's excellent. Alright, let's just get to this corner. Then hopefully you can pick me up and we can get a heal off. If we can do that, we can try and squeak out more value. But I'm just doubtful it's going to work. Sorry, Fred boy, but I'm going out here. It's going to be hard to find me now. Oh, that didn't heal you. Was that half a med kit? You're waiting lobby for next match? No worries, Steam. No worries. That's uh, that's a rough one right there. My only hope would be that Hatch spawns directly underneath of me. I would just suicide at this point. And maybe RNG will bless us with unbelievable luck. But he also has barbecue. Which means that he'll be right on top of me in five seconds. Oh my god, Freddy. No, don't tell me you lost me. Now, how would you do that? <laughs> oh, poor Freddy. It's kind of like he knew. Uh, it's not outside the realm possibility. It's also possible as well that, you know, he's searching all the obvious areas. I know if I couldn't find a survivor, I would check uh, in basement. Oh, it's a GG, no doubt about that. I just need you to suicide so hatch spawns, my friend. No sense in extending this any further. I have no point in struggling unless he's trying to find me hatch, but I doubt it. Alright, he tells me to stop. Yeah, I stop struggling. So are you finding me hatch or are you putting me on a hook, my friend? Tis the question. Looks like he's looking for it. I mean, honestly, I have learned the lesson of just drop your survivors. He wants me to grab a crown. I mean, I don't need the crown, though I do appreciate the sentiment. Honestly, I could just use the escape, if anything. 
Just let me find hash on my own accord. All right, looks like that's what he's doing. Um, question is whether or not, or rather, who can find a. No idea this godforsaken thing is. I wish he would not be looping with me. So it might be out in the corn. I feel like we're back to where I was. It's not over here. So yeah, it's definitely in the middle somewhere. Hmm? Does he know where it is? Oh wow, we are wicked close to it. Look at that. Well, GG, well played to uh, the nightmare himself, Mr. Freddy Krueger. Yeah, it did not uh, exactly work out in our favor. Franklin's. Well, I guess that makes sense why I didn't realize that. Barbecue, no pop. Oh, no, there was pop. Sorry. Barbecue, pop. What was my third thought process that he was on? Why do I think that there's a third perk? Barbecue, pop, and something else. Uh, either ways. They did play well. He kept taking my flashlight. GG's, King. GG's. I do appreciate you stopping by saying hi once again. You played well. Yeah, I thought you had Tinker. That's right. But just must have been barbecue being barbecue. And I do appreciate the escape. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, get Compendium 2, Chapter 2. Let's complete that. And, oh, already had another challenge completed over here, too. Excellent. Escape three trials through the exit gate. Unhook 12 survivors. Earn the broken emblem five times. Do eight skill checks. Uh, let's go for the un... Actually, let's go for the skill checks. Let's do the skill checks. Why not? I saw my comment, but are you still doing the two-hour survivor, two-hour killer? Nope, I'm doing just full stream as survivor today, beast. Um, I decided for the remainder of the, whatchamacallit, the event. That's what I'm going to be doing. So if you are interested in joining, you are more than welcome to do so throughout the entire stream. We have another three hours to go. Let's grab our cake. And now I can take off the head-on build. Though this build is very cheeky if you can use it well. Honestly, I kind of want to replace head-on with life. It'd still be pretty freaking good. It'd be a good escape build. Just kind of life out and you're gone. No scratch marks, no nothing. Um, uh, Let's see. So, do I want to go with prove thyself resilient self-care botany knowledge? I was talking about doing so, wasn't I? Yeah, why not? Let's do that one. So, botany knowledge. Prove thyself. Where's prove thyself? Prove thyself resilience and self-care with a first aid kit. That gets me a full two heals. Technically, I don't need self-care. But increase in efficiency, so without a healing item is 50% the normal healing speed. Yeah, what's up, Simple? How it goes it? How it goes it? 50% plus 33. Healing speed in item healing and healing item efficiency increased. So that really is 83 plus an additional 9. So that is 92%. I mean, that's pretty much just... Wow, that pretty much just has a permanent med kit, isn't it? That's actually pretty nice, not gonna lie. This actually is not a bad build. Like, I was thinking about it in... I've never actually used this build, but I was thinking about it when people were, we were talking about self-care yesterday. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that this build, Body Knowledge, Prove Thyself, Resilience, Self-Care, is actually pretty good. Because you can heal yourself at nearly 100% the normal speed. You can heal yourself as many times as you want. You have your med kit. That is a full two heals. Just by itself, as long as it's a yellow med kit, you get two full heals. And you can always run resilience as well, so that way you got the increased gen time. And when the killer's series comes near, you just pop self-care and you're golden. So that's uh, not bad in the slightest.
I also want to be bad theoretically uh, found the hatch. Hey, awesome. Well, that's always good news created. Were you able to escape from it or did you just find it? But yeah, honestly, running a uh, Metal Man wouldn't be bad on this build either. Instead of prove thyself, you want to do that. Just found it. Very nice. Very nice. Metal Man, take body block hits. And just rinse repeat that with uh, self-care botany knowledge. Welcome back, big dog. Welcome back. Just in time for the match. Yeah, there's no reason to heal me. Best thing to do is to go to a gen and have me heal next to you while you work on it. Since I have proved myself and resilience. And hey, how's it going, Don? How have you been? How have you been? Hopefully you're doing well. Let's see if we can survive one of these matches and not by the mercy of the killer either. Fingers crossed, of course. Doing good, how about you? Doing pretty well, all things considered. Like I said, haven't had the greatest of matches in the first two, but can't complain, to be honest. No corruption invention. I can't work on the gen on that side, interesting. What you find in there? It's a wraith. Oh no, it's not a wraith, it's a zombie. With ruin. So nemesis then. Yep, yeah, that's a nemesis, all right. He's a coming. All right. Yeah, I thought I heard the. I thought the snarling from the zombie was the sound of wraith while cloaked. I'm not gonna lie. Hence why I took off like that. Hey, zombie boy. Come here. Go down a hole. Drivers? Uh, of course. Alright. Well, I'm back on that gen big dog where you were before. If you want to join me for some prove thyself value. There is ruin. I'm not too threatened by it against the nemesis, so I don't think we need to hunt it necessarily. What, well, a zombie already died in a hole? Well, they can go right on back to it. Good news. We got ruin after all. I mean, at the end of the day, if you get ruin, it's not bad. Nope. You have so many Claudettes now, by the way. Alright, does he have Eruption as a backup gen regression, I wonder? Well, I'm back on this. Let's try and get this up ASAP. So that way we can finally get a gen done. That would be ideal. 70%. The injure that he had is now gone. That's always good to see. Means that he pretty much wasted all his time thus far. And we'll pop. And let's rotate out of his chase. Where's Big Dog going, though? I'll take the hit. And try and extend chase for you. I think he might be going for me. I don't know why, but sneaking suspicion. Okay. Well, I guess the good news is, is that I'm in chase and injured. He has knockout of all perks. Interesting. He has 45 seconds until haunted ground has since deactivated. So it's going to be interesting. Knockout is now gone. I'm halfway healed with 30 seconds left on haunted. I don't see anyone around me. Though I feel like we're missing a survivor. 
I see two there, which means one's in a locker. Ooh, who's hiding in a locker? Yeah. Come on now. On the ground ain't that scary. There we go, Claudie. Don't know who you are. But you could have tried to save me. If you had come over here and not been afraid of haunted, I would have gotten up. I'm not gonna lie. He ran right over me. Why? That's so odd. Yep, so that was the random. Like, I can heal myself pretty quickly, especially if Brazilian botany knowledge. That's not an issue. Let's get on a gen. Oh, god dang it. Zombies everywhere. Making my life difficult, aren't they? Let's use my med kit. Do that first off and foremost, since we have a full two heals. Well, I couldn't not hit the skill check. That's unfortunate. Alright, looks like he goes back up to middle. I think he's chasing someone as we speak. So let's jump on the gen in that case. Zombies over there. It looks like the zombie has some pretty decent speed. So I'd argue, if not bet, that this nemesis has the speed increase add-on on these zombies. Let's keep that in mind and try not get too surprised by them. I do always love watching them fall off of things, though. It is uh, a pretty amusing animation, to say the least. I also remember to I'll remind myself to hydrate right after this match, simple. I thank you much for the reminder to do so. Alright, zombie's not on me. That's good news. 60%. And just about 20 seconds out from popping this gen. Nemesis is definitely hurting. Two totems gone, which means two perks dead at this point. We don't know what the last two are. That is something to keep in mind. It could very well be anything. We definitely know it's not corrupt, though. And we know it's not Sloppy Butcher, either. Alright, he'll hit the gen. Will he commit the chase on me? He is not. Yeah, I thought I didn't need to hit the skill check. I was wrong. He has hysteria. That's right. Don't mind me, Nemesis. Did he go back to pop the gen again? I think he did. Oh, Jesus. That zombie almost snuck up on me. I'll stay away from that for a little bit. You're definitely getting face camped if you caught. Why is that big dog? Are you uh, flashlighting him off over pallets? I take it. So is it hysteria or is it knockout that caused me to be blind on the ground? I wonder. I'm curious of the fact that he keeps on coming back to bop the gen. I wonder if he just isn't seeing me, or if he just keeps on going back on it to try and get it regressing. I'm not entirely sure which, to be honest. Either way, it's not a smart move. It's not like he has anything to increase the regression. So I could just keep on going back and harassing him on that gen. I see someone getting chased. He didn't commit to the chase, though. Uh, it's because he's on someone else instead. Hmm. Tempted to go back for that gen real quick and try and crank it out. Oh my god. This nemesis really just does not want that gen to pop. He keeps on just bopping it. I mean, that's just such a bad move on his part. 
It means that he keeps on dropping Chase. He loses me every time, almost without fail. And all the while, there should be three other gens being worked on as we speak. I mean, this one's on 50. Where was that? Yeah, so that has to be Knockout. Because we can't see him. It's not Hysteria. We're not blind. But their aura is gone. So that's 100% Knockout. They're not picked up yet. They're still slugged out on the ground as we speak. You can tell because of the outline of their health meter. Okay, now it's flashing, so they're either getting picked up or they got picked up by Nemesis. Which that is, I'm not sure. Nemesis, okay. Well, I have as Pop goes the weasel, he's not getting value now. Big dog, do you have BT? Guys, I'm gonna need you to go for this, probably. He's on me. I'll take the hit. I can heal myself pretty quickly, too, so that's not an issue. Hopefully I can 99 myself this time. All right, big dog down. That is not the end of the world, though. My real question, of course, is where the fresh hell are these... Um, whatchamacallit? These last gens. I know there's the one that I've been working on. And he keeps on going back to pretty frequently. So probably best not to try and jump back on it. So Big Dog, did your prophecy come true or are you about to get face camped? Your phone died? That's a noob. Hmm. I don't think we three gen ourselves necessarily. You 360 them in one spot like four times? Eee. Yeah, no, this ain't having a good time, it would sound like. Hi, Nemesis, me boy. Alright, hopefully someone can go for you as I have the ire of Nemesis as we speak. I'm just gonna drag you away, boy. All right, he's going back for the unhook. He seems to have what I would refer to as commitment issues. He doesn't exactly uh, commit to one chase. He always goes for what he thinks is the more strategic option. Unfortunately for him, that would be incorrect in that thinking. Unless he's planning on tunneling Big Dog, which I suppose is a possibility. Hi, Nemesis. There are other gens you are aware of, right? Yep, I'll get hit. I also want to note something. He hasn't once used his M2, has he? I'm going to draw him away. I'm actually going to get hit by you. For the fact that you body blocked me. Interesting. So you don't get iframe through zombies. I did not know that, I'll be honest. Well, that is good to know. Self-care, pretty much at normal speed. Where's this last gen? I know there's two over there. Are we three gens? 50% on my gen from earlier? No, it did Oh, middle. Yeah, I mean, we didn't necessarily three gen ourselves, but we definitely didn't do ourselves any favors. Well, I'll work on middle. It's already at 50%. I have resilience in play as well. He finally hit his stage two. Perfect. Oh, who did that? Oh, what was that? Was that Surge? Or was that, that was not Eruption. Had to be Surge then. I'll take the hit. Please do not follow me. Please go somewhere else. Anywhere except but where you're going currently. Whoever this is, I think that's Big Dog. Could you not go in the same direction as me? He's on me now. 
That was not the right play. It's not you? And who was that? Was that the random? Unfortunate timing for sure. All right, well, I'm looping him. Not a great position that I'm in though. I'm gonna try and keep him away from active gens and keep him into a corner, give you guys enough time to finish out the gen. All right. Yeah, so you guys knock out Hysteria, Surge, and... What was the other perk? I feel like I'm missing one. But that was enough time for the gen. Like I said, he has commitment issues. Hysteria and Knockout is interesting, though, I will say. Alright, I should be ready by the time anyone comes to pick me up. I guess I can try and crawl towards the other Exegate where the coffee cat sniper is. Oh. Oh, is that? Oh, I think I know who was chasing me. No, Ed? Thank God, no. Um, I think it may have been um, Steam who was chasing me on that one. Yeah, best thing to do in those scenarios is to spread out as thin as possible. Right, I do need someone to pick me up at some point. It would be appreciated. I'm going towards the other Exegate, pretty much prepped and ready, too. It's not like you guys should be afflicted by a uh, knockout anymore. Alright, see someone coming my way. Hello. Might as well open that up. By the time I get there, we should be good to jump out. I'm gonna heal you, since I can heal you faster than you can heal me. That would be a good idea here. Let's open up that exit gate since the other exit gate's already opened up. I can then heal myself, and you can go for the unhook, wherever that might be. Exit gate opened. That's good. There's no reason for me not to do a full heal, I don't think, unless it's to take the ire of the nemesis. Because he might go for someone who's injured. But uh, I'd rather not take that chance. Knockout is still in effect, so we have no idea where they are, though I think they're going to be on the other side towards that corner. Where is Steam? Still no aura? Where are they? What is going on here? I also don't hear the Nemesis' tear radius. Uh, feel like something's up, and I don't know what it is. Steamed, where are you? I don't see an aura at all. Normally, I think Knockout should have worn off by now. But it hasn't. Why? If we can't find you soon, we're gonna have to leave you. Go to Terra Radius? I'll be honest, I haven't seen it. You're with Nemesis. I, I haven't heard the Terra Radius this entire time. I have no clue where he is. I feel like I've gone around the entire map except for that back corner, which I don't think I can get to in time. We have roughly 25 seconds until the um, uh, e endgame collapse pops. And I saw a crow go off. I imagine that was unbreakable. Stop moving. If you move, then I can't do anything for you. We have 15 seconds. We need to leave. Whoever's not out that exit gate or running towards there now is a dead person. <coughs> Put it that way. Especially since there's no longer a slug. Yep. Sorry, big dog. You are the sacrifice. Prod is going to leave. Yeah, I think this is probably the right move at this point. There's not much else we can do. Because as soon as Nemesis hooks big dog too, it's going to shorten the e uh, in-game collapse, EGC. Sorry, big dog. 
Would have liked to have gotten everyone. That was so odd, I could not see uh, their aura for such a long time. Made a sacrifice to get the teammate up, I appreciate it. But, let's see. That's gonna let you die to the ECG. Or the EGC, rather. Looks like it. I'm curious to know what their perks were. Hysteria, Knockout, Haunted Ground Ruin. Yep. But GG, well played to the Nemesis and these survivors. Mutation rate and instinct when vaccine. Interesting. Fair enough. Let's take a look at our queue. So who is queued up? So simple, you are in my friend. Feel free to join at your leisure. Let me fix up my face cam as well before I do forget. But it was getting 360 crazy by you. Yeah, I about to say, you, you seem to have been having fun of that nemesis, to say the least. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Perfect. Let's ready on up. And I do need another cake, don't I? So, which means I need to go through this blood web. Let's do that now. Perfect. Yep, I took a sip of my root beer. Thank you for the reminder, Simple. I do appreciate it. Kept trying to hit me with his tentacle and just kept missing. Yeah, to be fair, Nemesis, Nemesis's M2 is a rough one. It has the hitbox of Deathslinger. No worries. Need to restart your emulator? No worries, Steamed. Let me know if it's going to take a while. If so, we'll go into another match. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll wait for you. Need to do eight great skill checks. I could run This Is Not Happening, theoretically speaking. Or is it this not happening? Great skill checks, exact zone. When repairing and healing, get 30% bigger when I'm injured. I could do that instead of self-care. Wouldn't it be a half bad idea? Nah, it's rather quick. Sounds like a plan. I join the I'll leave. I know. Hey, so they don't want to play play with you. You know, you're, you're too good. <laughs> All right. And thank you, Slobby, for the contribution to the Killer Friends Saturday. I do appreciate it. By the way, Slobby, if you uh, are interested at all in joining at any point, definitely let me know. So, eight great skill checks. If this is not happening, that should help things. Get that a bit more often. Now? I mean, we have four people queued up. If you want to queue up for next match, we could get you in, yeah? Tis up to you. I was waiting on Steam's emulator reboot, and I'm not sure what happened to Big Dog. You'll throw some in as well? I appreciate it. I mean, you guys do like your killer friends after all, so... Alright, alright. Well, I'm just waiting on them to get back. I'm not sure... Oh, gotta do some scrims. I didn't see Big Dog. So in that case, uh, yeah, Sloppy, if you want to join now, you can. Uh, Big Dog is out for right now. Since they're going to be doing some scrims for the moment. So, we'll ready up for now, but, uh, okay. Right, in that case, I will wait for you to join. Are you already on DBD? Mm, doesn't look like it. So, we'll wait. And you can join at your leisure, Sloppy. I just booted up. Sounds good. How is it by Dead Up and Trini, by the way? I know that uh, Survivor has been rough because of killers being killers. But beside that, any performance issues? Or... I also realized that today's the first Tuesday where we didn't get any hotfixes or anything. I'm, I'm a wee bit disappointed, not gonna lie. 
was truly hoping that we would see the performance issues go away, but looks like they're mainly focusing on sticking all of the hot fixes and bug patches into the mid chapter release. Considering the regular stuff, that's not bad then. That's not bad. I'm just fingers crossed that by the end of this month, uh, all of the performance issues that DVD has been having will be done. I'm surprised that it's supposedly a HDD issue, according to what I saw in PR. I feel like it's, I still feel like it's a memory leak issue. Um, but I'm not the one looking on the back end. Let's had bad matches against hardcore tunneling killers. Yeah, that do be a thing from time to time. I start training at work tomorrow. I'm training on something new. Ooh. What are you training to do, out of curiosity? Just like a new role, a new position, more responsibilities, all of the above. <laughs> Hopefully as you uh, learn something new, hopefully that also gets you a bit more pay. I know that usually is not how it works, but uh, one can hope, of course. One can hope. Front counter and drive through. Very nice. I imagine those are probably already listed in your role responsibility, so probably not. I don't think I'm in your friends list. Wait, really? I could have sworn that you were. Uh, but maybe not. Man, imagine me as a manager. I mean, hey, it's uh, possible. What's your tax lobby? Like I guess I could have sworn that I had you added, but maybe not. All right. You actually do get a little raise for being trained on both kitchen counter and drive through. Hey, well, that's awesome. Uh, and then what's the end tags lobby? Your DBD ID. Is the 33B3? Because there apparently is a lot of uh, winks. <laughs> a lot more than I expect, to be honest. I wonder if that's a reference to something. B3CC. B3CC. There we go. Apparently, yeah, I do not have you added. Go figure. I don't think it's huge, but anything helps exactly. I mean, even if it's 50 cents, it's something nonetheless. It's a South Park reference. Okay, well, that makes sense why there's many of them. Versus Guilt Spire. I think there's only two of me. I guess technically one of me. And that's my console profile. All right, once you've accepted that, you can join at your leisure. It should have sent you the request on Steam, of course. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, if it's a 50 cent raise, that, that's actually not bad. <sighs> at the end of the day, though, I just hope that in the near future that... The, the people in general realize that a universal standard of living is important. Unfortunately, though, I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. I can wish, though, and I can hope. I can dream, in fact. I'll be lucky with 25 cents. Fair, fair. And when you're ready, steamed, ready on up, my friend. And we should be good to go. Like I said before, thankfully queue times have been rather short today. Mm, see, there we go, I was about to say. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Also, the universe standard of giving your employees a break. Are you not getting, how long are your shifts simple? I, I hate to do this, like, like I, I feel like I've seen like enough of this between like PTO, sick time, breaks and whatnot. But depending on how long your shift is, you are should be by state regulations be given a break. I think it's eight hours is thirty six hours. I'm not sure if that's state regulated or corporate. More than five hours. I think that if it's six hours, you might want to check your state's um, business law and see if they require employers to give you a break. Um, it might just be a 15 minute break, which would be on the clock break. Um, but I think that after X amount of hours, they have to give you at least a 15, if not more. 
I know on eight, I believe they are required to do a 30. Stay it's like five hours here in Texas, I think. So in that case, if, if you're getting, if you're working five hours and your state law says that you're guaranteed a 15 minute break or however long um, after X amount of hours, you can bring that up to your management. If they want to fight you on it, just be like, look, I can report you to the Bus Better Business Bureau as well as corporate and they'll probably back down if you're stern enough about it. Um, I've had to, I've had to have that conversation with my employers on a few occasions. I, I worked at Staples and a manager tried to switch schedules last minute. Like when I say last minute, they would call you on a day that you were scheduled off or scheduled at a different time. And they would have changed the schedule the day before. Like, no, 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 no. That ain't how this works. I worked nine hours before and not given a break. When I uh, asked, they said we don't have enough people. It doesn't matter if they don't have enough people. They have to, by law. It's another guy on break who worked only five hours. You know, seriously, if, if they say that, they say they don't have enough people. Um, I'm not petty, but seriously, come on. No, it's not like the biggest thing is not that they gave someone else a break for five hours. It's the fact that they worked you for nine and didn't give you a break and said the excuse was they didn't have enough people. It doesn't matter. Like you as an employee... One thing you have to realize, it doesn't matter if the business doesn't have enough people to continue running. If you have a crew to break, by law, take your break and say, look, I understand you have enough people. That's not my problem. That's the manager's problem, the store manager or GM, whatever, for not scheduling enough people. Told me no. Yeah, no, exactly. So if that ever happens again, in all seriousness, I, like as, as nicely as you can be like, N look, I understand we don't have enough people, but, like, I need a break. And I, by law and by company policy, am allowed to take a break. So either you give me a break or we can have additional conversations about this later when I report you to the Better, Better Business Bureau um, as well as corporate. Because that can get them in a lot more trouble than 30 minutes with less people is worth. Company's highest tax they need to pay is your paycheck. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, but yeah, in all seriousness, um, make sure that you as an employee know your rights. And this is a thing not just for breaks. This goes for, um, you know, a whole lot of stuff to keep in mind, remember. All right, well, I'm not going to work on that gen with two people on it. I want to keep efficiency in mind. Tis a Huntress. Well, my range is 32 meters. Prove thyself in the works. Looks like she rotated out to the other side. So she gives plenty of time. He ready up a hatchet. Who for? Okay, it looks like Slobby. Alright, we should be able to crank out this gen relatively quickly then. Thank you, prove thyself. And Thana. Okay, that's not the biggest issue in the world. Let's head over to Meat Tree. All right, looks like she's not committing to guarding this gem. That's good news. Bad news is four additional seconds on every gen due to Thana, if it is Thana 3. Surprisingly, unlike other perks like Ruin, you don't actually know whether or not it is Dying Light 3, Thana 3, what have you. I kind of wish they would make it so that you were aware. Uh, that would be... make too much sense, wouldn't it? Prove thyself. Alright, let's start rotating to the other side of the map. Unless we end up with a 3 gen we don't want. Where the hell did she go to? He still hasn't downed anyone either. 
It's over by a harvester. Yeah, it would appear to be the case. Ruin, by the way? No ruin. So we don't know what perk she has at all. There's been really no info. As soon as she picks up, I jump and lock her to avoid barbecue. Interesting. Not picking up yet. Why? I still hear her lullaby, so she's still around. There's the pickup. Like I said, lullaby up in 32 meters. Now, this could be a mistake. If she has um, Iron Maiden. That could be problematic. Looks like a flashlight save happened. Very nicely done, whoever did that. She's still up in 32 meters. Okay, she's starting to go out of 32 now. Simple takes a hit, and Slobby's now in chase. Thanks to Thana, every gen has an additional eight seconds on it. All right. Honestly, I'm gonna rotate out from here. No Iron Maiden? Yep, I did not get hit by it, thankfully. That uh, would have been a wee bit troublesome. Let's break out this gen. Like I said, though, eight additional seconds due to Thana at max. Twenty meter tear radius. So close, Huntress, but so far away, my dear. Sorry, whoever's here. Not happening. All right, that should have given you enough distance, uh, Steam, to avoid her. Let's jump on this gen. Perfect. There's a hurricane going my way. Are you serious? Well, I hope that you, your family, your friends, and your belongings are safe. Um, are you going to have to evacuate to a shelter? Or what's the, what's the plan? What's your state or county decided to do? Hopefully it's, uh, you know, it, though I do not wish for a hurricane to hit anyone, hopefully it's like a small hurricane and not like a Cat 5 or something insane, right? All right, let's split on these last three. And once again, eight seconds on every gen, thanks to Thana. And we're already roughly one quarter of the way through. Yeah, but in all serious uh, streams, I really do hope that everything's okay. Uh, usually know that hurricanes can't do crap when they're about to hit something, uh, they just turn around. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Mother Nature be like that, right? She's like, oh, I'm gonna destroy this area. And it's like... Yeah, it's probably best to go to a shelter nonetheless. You don't want to tempt fate. Hey, better safe than sorry after all. Uh, I haven't been through a hurricane, but pretty close to a tornado when I was in Connecticut. It, uh, it was a time all right. I'll tell you what. I live by... Hold on. There's the lullaby. Perfect. Oh, that's why. All right, you can heal yourself. That is fine. And let's head up to the exit gate. Hmm. 
This exit gate's already getting primed. Solo gen rush. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the ever so infamous solo gen rush. I will say, opening that too early might be a mistake. It's always best to 99 first in case of something like Blood Warden. Commit to 99, no worries, it happens. Come on, Huntress, what you gonna do? She's on me. She's probably gonna try and hit me from afar. I actually did. Body block. All right, no way she gets that, so I'm good. And Interstella, thank much for the follow. Welcome to the Guilty Ones, my friend. I am Mark, aka Guilt Sparm, an educational killer main, here to teach kills how to play killer and survivors how to play against killer. Very happy to have you here. Um, oh yeah, if you bring the Shroud of Binding plus Prove, it's it's very good. But GG, well played to the Huntress and these survivors. Yeah, the Huntress struggled that match. She really did. Barbecue, Thana 3, Sloppy, and Bitter Murmur. Fair play. Only 80,000 blood points that match. A little bit disappointing, not gonna lie. Didn't get all too many because there's no real chases. But yeah, uh, Prove Thyself is a really good perk. It's always recommended to only double up uh, on a gen, never triple up because you lose a lot of efficiency that way. But it's a very, very good perk and you can get a lot of value. Personally, uh, the build that I'm using right now is actually pretty nasty. Uh, if you put on self-care over... Um, this is not happening. I'm just doing that for the challenge currently. If three people spawn near a gen, you can do a gen like 25 seconds. Actually, I don't believe it's that fast. I'd have to double check to be certain. Um, but it's a lot, uh, more penalizing than you might think it to be. Due to the efficiency penalty that you receive when you double up on gens. Uh, let's see. Alright, there's our cake. Let's see. I want to double check because I haven't checked in a fast minute. I know, I'm pretty sure based on the efficiency penalty, Prove Thyself 2 is always better than Prove Thyself 3. So, Prove Thyself for repair speeds. Two people... You get an efficiency of 30 or 15 seconds, and it takes 40.92 seconds. Three people, it's 29.3. So whereas one person, it's 80. Two people, it's 40. Basically a full reduction of 50% with two people. With three people, it's only additional reduction of about 10 seconds. So it's honestly better to have only two people and not three. Yeah, uh, so the benefit of Prove Thyself is actually um, to negate the efficiency penalty. So when you jump on a gen, so here's a good link that I recommend taking a look at if you have a chance. This shows the Prove Thyself benefit. Uh, however, though, if you go to Generators on the wiki uh, and you go to Efficiency Penalty... So for one survivor, it's 80 seconds. For two survivors, it's 47 seconds. Three survivors, 38 seconds. And four survivors, 36.36 seconds. So your efficiency, by the time you have four people in one gen, is only 55% effective. Two people, 85. Three people, 70. So it's best that without Prove Thyself, you only one person a gen, period. Unless you're trying to crack through Tinkerer, for example. When it comes to Prove Thyself, it's best to have two people on a gen and no more. So as you have more people on one gen, you end up losing efficiency. Um, when one person jumps on a gen with no additional buffs, it is 80 seconds in total. When two people jumps on a gen, it's 87 seconds. So you actually get a, realistically speaking, a 7% penalty for two people being on gens. 
Um, when you use prove thyself, however, you pretty much remove that penalty. Um, and it drops it down to roughly 40-ish seconds. So you basically save seven seconds on the penalty by having two people on gen with prove thyself. That's the real benefit. It's saving those additional seven seconds. Other than that, you know, that's about it. So you get punished for doing gens together? Correct. A lot of people do not realize that, but you do get punished by doing gens together rather than separately unless you have prove thyself. That is the benefit of prove and why it's such a good perk because it's saving you upwards of seven seconds with two people. Does not make uh, sense. It m doesn't make sense when you're thinking logically, but if you're thinking game-wise, it does make sense because survivors are already able to cr crack out a gen really, really quickly. So if they're able to do it seven seconds faster without Prove Thyself, A, Prove Thyself would have no more use, and B, it would actually be pretty nasty. Uh, two people on a gen by default is the best uh, with Prove Thyself. Without Prove Thyself, I would argue that it's better to just stick to one person on every gen. Um, that way you don't incur that seven second penalty. But yeah, uh, efficiency penalty is a thing. Um, hence why you'll see that I'll never try and double up on a gen without Prove Thyself. If I see three people on a gen to Prove Thyself, I'll dip off of it. Um, and to Prove Thyself, I'll just keep it at two. So that's why I have. That's why you'll see those moments where I'll just jump off early. Just rework proof. I mean, the biggest thing is I would say it. I don't think that they should remove efficiency penalty. They did already uh, rework proof, but I don't think they should um, really touch efficiency penalty. I think it makes sense to keep it as is. Kind of is leader before. Yeah, basically it was. Leader. Old leader was something. I don't know if there's ruin. I don't know if there's ruin. This is this is a bit rough. Uh ooh. Ooh, this bad idea. Yeah, I knew it was a bad idea. I knew it was a bad idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> Yep, that's a thing. That's a thing right there. Just run as far as you can. Thankfully, it's haunted ground too, so it's not a full 60 seconds. And that, my friends, is why normally I don't cleanse totems right away. I usually like to wait until I know what they are. But I decided to take a page out of everyone else's book. Oh, that was me. Uh, I, just, I just did what everyone else normally does. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> oh, probably the worst time in the world. If it was like five seconds later, we would have been fine. That's the funny part. Rancor? So, Rancor haunted. She hits. Does she go for the unhook? She is. So, someone else... Actually, I don't think I can wait for someone else. Alright, I try to take a body block to give you time to leave. But that might not be possible. Let's see if I can heal myself quick enough to help you. Yeah, she ignored me entirely. I was hopeful that she'd swing again. She did not. And just, ooh, piece of candy. Pretty much. Whoever has leader that's giving me that bonus, thank you. That's actually helping quite nicely. Alright, let's hope to hell she doesn't do that again. Really, she's still back here? Hi, Leon. If you could leave, maybe. Draw her away. Ah! No, nope, don't miss your skill checks, please. You've got to be joking me. All right, keep on running. I'm going to try and body block for you again. Ah! 
All right, just keep on running. I don't know if that'll give you enough time. She's tunneling. She She's doing this purposely now. Before, there was argument to be made that maybe it was just circumstance, but now this is pretty conscious. Thankfully, after that second body block, you're good. A little bit late on that, just a little bit. All right, we need to make sure that Steam does not get down after this. We need to take hook states where necessary. Steam's on that faction, two people here. I have about 55 seconds until I go to second stage. Good job on that, Shen. Who, are, who is she on? Will she go for the unhook and force the unsafe unhook? No, it looks like she's... No, is she on tap? Yeah, she is. The thing is, I have roughly... What is it? 30 seconds until I go to stage two. And she is playing way too close to the hook. She's definitely trying to force trades. BT, no BT, which means you need to take a hit and I need to run like hell. She goes for me though. Alright, she'll break and continue chase. There it goes, simple, thank you. Is this a swift week? Pretty much, Amy, pretty much. Uh, with the event going on right now, I opted to um, just pretty much have swift every single day until the event ends. Alright, so basement for simple. That's not great. Slobby's gonna have to go for the unhook. Yeah, she's specifically trying to force unsafe unhooks. Well, that's unfortunate. Thank you. Hmm. Unless you're able to get the unhook on simple, simple will probably go to second stage. He's camping hard. If that's the case, simple. You might have to be a sacrificial lamb. Um, I hate to say it, but I think we need to just jump on gens in that case. And crank out these last two while simple dies on hook. Unless she leaves in a timely manner. That might just be the best play. And crank out this gen in 47 seconds. So just keep on struggling, Simple. If she gets off of um, you, then we can go for you. But for now, I think we just have to like, prioritize gens and try and get at least a two man out at this point in time. Then we need a three man split on the last three gens. Slobby, go for Simple now, if he's not on you. I'll take the body block next and try and take aggro. He's going for you. Shoot. This is frustrating. Yeah, she's playing very aggressive to say the least. Not in a good way. Very much camp and tunnel, which means uh, we're probably gonna end up with another, with a death on our hands in a second. He's not going for me. I just tried to body block for you and she's still on you. I'm gonna try and get in front of her and cut her off in a way that she can't dodge. That sucks. There's nothing I can do about that. All right, one more gen. Then we can get out, try and get a two man out at least. That's gonna be our best option, honestly. Avoid barbecue. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, that was horrible timing. So 
Somehow she did not notice me. Go figure. So let's work on this gen. She didn't even see me? Yeah, somehow. She should have seen the locker animation too, honestly. I'm surprised she didn't. I mean, the main reason why she has hook states right now is solely because of the fact that she uh, ended up, you know, just basically tunneling off of hook or camping out. Those were the only reasons forcing us into those situations. But GG to the spirit and these survivors. Yeah, sorry about that steamed about uh, popping haunted. To be fair, to be fair, it is what happens to me all the time. But uh, unfortunately, I wasn't expecting her to then tunnel and camp on top of which. As she actually left Shaq. She probably realized what was happening and felt there is either one of two situations. She either camps it out and she sees two gens pop, in which case as the gates uh, turn on. Uh, or, keywords, or she felt happy that she got the second stage and was going to then patrol gens thereafter. Haunted, Devour, Rancor, and Noed. Wow, that's a, that's a build right there. Yeah, that's an exposed build if I've ever seen one. How many unhooks did we get? We got one, two, three, yeah. Uh, well, hmm. No, she was in the area for multiple stacks of Devour, so she was not on three, actually. I will note that. All right, well, with that being said, looks like Hammy is joining up, so Steamed will get rotated out. Hammy will get rotated in. Um, and Salmon also. Actually, sorry. Correction. So Steam rotates out, Salmon rotates in, and then Hammy rotates out simple. I do need to keep in mind that um, Slobby did not queue up. Uh, no, you're not out simple. Uh, Steamed is out for Salmon. And then you'll be out next for Hammy. So Salmon, when you are ready, feel free to jump on in. Where'd you go, Simple? I was just uh, done explaining that you are not out. <laughs> All right, let's grab these. All right, sounds good. Perfect. All right, Simple's back in. Yeah, steamed out, salmon in, and then you're out next afterwards. So like that she told me or we would have gotten uh yeah exactly i mean we we played it smart we played it well even though she was you know camping and tunneling we still were able to efficiently work the gens to the point where she didn't get much value so that should speak volumes in that regard Let's see if I have another cake prepped. Uh, oh god, another cake. And it's not like I have a bloody party streamers either. All good, simple, all good. No worries, my friend. Um, let's do this. Oh, I should have grabbed that earlier. Whoopsie. I think she camp and tunnel immediately since I took her out of devour immediately. True, that could be the case. That's not something that I necessarily condone, but that would make sense. I mean, there there are moments where you need to strategically tunnel or zone out for a hook state. I'm not going to disagree with that. I don't think that was strategic, though. I think that was blindly trying to get someone out of the game without really thinking of the potential repercussions for the actions. Because fact of the matter is, we were coordinated enough to realize what was happening 
and take body block after body block after body block and start forcing her to take hook states off of other people. And because of that, she ended up losing a lot of value in the late game. So I don't think that was necessarily strategic. Uh, Devour, Haunted, Noed, Rancor. Pop, Fixated, Sabo, and Monitor and Shrine. <sighs> When's it going to be Stakeout? I just want my Stakeout. But Pop's not a bad, uh, bad one to have in there. How's stream going? Stream's going well, Spike. How have you been? And Salmon, are you loading up right now out of curiosity? Uh, there we are. I see you. Just sent you an invite. I need two more great skill checks. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. All right. Let's ready on up. Just here munching on a granola bar while waiting. I mean, that's one of the nice things about Survivor. You do get a bit of downtime. You get the chat. You get to munch on some snacks and whatnot, right? My game's a little slow. No worries, Sam. No worries. You're good. But ready on up when you are good to go. Things are going good. Almost rank one. Rank one killer or rank one survivor spike. Either way, congratulations. That is very exciting. All right. And that was pretty much an insta queue. Gotta love it when you see it. Already found a match. And two more skill checks. Survivor, very, very nice. You fall in what uh, what I refer to as the rule of twos. Two gens, two heals, two totems, uh, two unhooks and so on. Be a cop with you. <laughs> I mean, simple is still, you know, detective tap. Not necessarily a uh, cop tap, but still a detective nonetheless. All right. Let's ready on up and get things a rolling. Still debating whether or not I want to use my eerie shards. Gotta have that vest on in case we face Slinger. I don't think uh, a vest is gonna save you from that. If I had to bet the... Actually, that's a good question. Would the spear gun pierce through a bulletproof vest? I think... It probably would because it has enough weight behind it. So if it has enough inertia, it probably would pierce through. I guess, though, it depends on the type of Kevlar. Or, quote-unquote, bulletproof vest. Whether it's a ceramic versus Kevlar um, versus nanofiber. Maybe not, but it would definitely attach to the vest. I guess, it, like I said, I think it depends on what type of vest it is. Because there's different types of bulletproof with different resistances. Or degrees of. I'm pretty sure right now the best is ceramic. Though I guess there is the the nanofiber one, but that's not commonly used because that is hella expensive. The carbon nanofiber vests. Wicked light, uh wicked expensive. I also don't think they're mass produced right now. I think it was mainly just testing. So it's been a while since I kept up with that type of technology, I'll be honest. It's one of those things like you see and you do some research on, it's like, oh, okay, this is cool. And then you just completely forget that information exists until it comes up in conversation. But science uh, can be rather impressive. Join our ever popular horse flesh and pain delights. A brand new ice cream flavor is added to the universe to celebrate Dead by Daylight's fifth anniversary. Prepare with amazing taste buds of butter something. That's a new one. Didn't see that before. Like I was reading it qu uh, quickly. I'm like, oh, that's that's new. I'm rightly bullied by the community management team because of my dream I had about Danny DeVito. Is it a dream where Danny DeVito is the clown? Because I could see that. <laughs> Ladder for the people in the back. Wah! Freaking spirit sounds like Waluigi. DeVito as Victor. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. During a playtest, there's nothing more satisfying than landing a hit and hearing someone across the office scream. <laughs> I like that. I like that one. That, that's a cool one.
As an Asian girl who loves to do kendo and swordsmithing, you'd probably figure out why Rin Yamaoka will forever be my DVD bias. Waluigi was an inspiration for Spirit's voice. So, funny thing is, is that they actually changed Spirit's twice. I forget if it was just once or twice. Um, but most of the sounds that you hear from killers are actually from members of uh, Behavior. Like, not voice actors, just, you know, general members of Behavior. And so I forget what, like, I'm not sure if it's like an intern or what did Spirit's voice initially. But the community as a whole felt that she was, how should I say, too annoying to listen to. And opted to instead uh, change. Oh, it's an Oni. That's uh, that's an oof right there. That's a really early hit for Oni too. So make sure you guys take the time to heal. Because if we don't, that would be a bit unfortunate. Was the community manager? Gotcha. Yeah, I, like I said, I do remember a bit of that. That's an early down on Salmon. Oh, not Queen. Thank you. All right, he does not have his power yet. That's the good news. Just in case he has barbecue. Five, four, three, two, one. And you need someone else to get the unhook. So simple now is in chase. Ideally, Slobby goes for it unless he's too close nearby. Simple down. Hmm. I don't want to jump off the gen, but I think I have to at this point. And up there's the unhook. Keep in mind, Oni has his power now. And he is angry. Salmon's redowned. Well, that's less than ideal. He's getting picked up, so Slobby can go for the pickup off of, off of Simple then. And I'll try and crank out this gen before he's able to get to me. I'll have to go for Salmon. I imagine he's going to go for the unhook. There's the unhook on Salmon first. That may have not been the right move, I'll be honest. Not happening, Oni. Alright, he broke open the door. I'm just gonna run him at this point. Not play around that gen. That would not be a smart move. Alright, we're half a gen down right now. They're back on simple. Ideally, Slobby takes aggro. He has his power again. That's less than ideal. Hello. He's back by car pile. I'll go back to my gen. Try and crank that out. All right, that works out. Hopefully he goes for the pickup. And I'm surprised he didn't pop or pop the gen. Oh no, simple. What were you doing, my friend? I understand trying to go for the flashlight save, but A, not while you're injured, and B, not while you're already on hook. Shoot. That was not good. Alright, I think he jumped off of me. Let me heal up real quick, and then I'll have to go for the unhook on Slobby. Yeah, I think that's the right move here. Oop, okay. So Slobby off. There's the hook. Question of the day, do they have barbecue? Mm, maybe not, but they have line of sight on someone, so they're rushing. Salmon down and fetches Fry Oni. Makes sense to me. All 
All right, he's out of his power. He picked up Slobby. Yeah, he's snowballing right now. This is less than ideal. Where's that hook at? Oh, that's right next to the pickup too. There's nothing we can do for Salmon. Literally nothing at all. Well, that went downhill fast. Slobby off of hook. We need to get one more gen done. I also need to take a hook state. Let's see what I can do. He's on the other side of car pile, so let's rotate around counterclockwise. Let's see what I can do to help out. Alright, he's not on anyone yet. That's good news. I got found the worst spots when he had his power. All good, Sam, and it happens, mate. At the end of the day, can't win every match after all. All right, he's sucking up orbs. Did he just take a stun? Who's he chasing? I guess it doesn't matter who he's chasing. I should take a body block. There we go. Did he jump off of me? He did. He's still on me? He's on me again. Mm, I don't know if I make this. I do. He's not wanting to use his power. He wants to hold it. Thank you, resilience value. Mm, he might have the distance now, though. Nope, resilience for the win. Oh, I messed up. Ah. All right, I gave you guys as much time as I could there. Yo, what's up, Liquid? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I can't complain. Keep in mind, of course, Oni does have his power, and I'm pretty sure he has barbecue, too. Yep, he's going for someone as I speak. And it doesn't matter who it is. Been grinding Valorant. I take it that you dropped Rainbow Six Siege for right now? Looks like he's patrolling gens. He might actually not have barbecue after all, surprisingly enough. It seemed like he did. I have 30 seconds. Oh, he's coming for the unhook. No BT. Did they update Oni or something to have like a better turning radius? Because my god, Oni seems to be able to get around tight loops now. Yeah, good Onis are scary. I wonder if they're on console or PC. I'd imagine PC, because it looks like they're using the AD trick. Once you finish that gen, I'm going to start crawling to you. I'm already 75% of the way to healed. The fact that Slobby's about to go down, though, is not ideal. So, Simple, I'm going to need to pick up ASAP. Come to the right of car pile. Slobby's trying to make the best of the time. As soon as Slobby dies, we hunt Hatch. Let's get one person out of this. Let's heal up. Trying to deny him value. You've gotten very good at Rainbow Six. That's awesome to hear. How has it been? I've heard that the community's not been all too happy with uh, the current health of the game. All right, let me see if I can maybe extend Chase for Slobby here. Where's Slobby? He's bloodlust to the hell and back. Drop pallets if you have them, mate. All right, I took a hit again. Try to make sure you don't die yet. Looks like he's still on you, though. No, he's on me now. I think. 
he lose you? No, he's still on you. Come on, Oni. Come for me, not for him. He's messing up. Sorry, enemy boy, not happening. All right, this should give us enough time. Hatch has spawned at this point. That fatigue might give me some more distance to work with. Not much, though. Uh, bit, bit early on the out. Don't do it, Simple. Please, for the love of God. Or who is that? That's Lobby. Just do, uh... Let's do gens. We're almost out. I have taken so much aggro to try and make this work. He's trying to get his power again since I wasted it. We gotta squat up for Rain 60 sometime. Man, I'd be rusty as hell. I haven't played a shooter in God knows how long at this point. Alright, he's going to hill gen right now. So now's the time to do it. I'm gonna have to rotate out. Is it gonna come for me or gonna go for Slobby? Looks like Slobby. I'm gonna try and find another gen to work on meanwhile. Let's keep an eye out for Hatch. I haven't seen it thus far. <laughs> You'll carry? Sounds good. Where's this other gen? That's the real question. Where's Hatch as well? I'll see there's a gen there. I finished Garage. So not here. I haven't found Hatch yet. Looks like they're on Simple. There's that one. Hey, look at that. Nicely done, guys. Come on, resilience value. I'm getting the one to the right of Garage if you're facing the back wall. He doesn't have his power, so you can take a body block for me. But you might need to take a body block for... Um, uh, Slobby instead. He has his power? Run. Run like hell, my friend. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. I mean, a two out via the exit gates, not bad, all things considered, based on the situation that we're in. That was, that was honestly better than I expected. That was so close to a three-man out, though. That really was. It was a rough one, but we got a ton of value. Like, the amount of raw value that we got by me taking chase and just body blocking body blocking body blocking you guys working on gens and we we were able to crank it out in the end so gg well played to the oni and these survivors oh we route rebounded big time monster abuse infectious pop and barbecue i was right about the barbecue uh increases speed of demon dash as well as number of blood orbs fair play did I get my challenge? I did. Perfect. So we're going to rotate out simple now for Hammy. Uh, Oni's turn. You can 180 with him on PC. I know you can 180 with him on PC on the slam. I do it all the time. But the just general turning rates of Oni now, it, I don't know if they just updated it or what, but it seems a lot better than I remember. Finish healing one states of other survivors while using solidarity. No, thank you. Uh, 12 unhooks, hatch, fall from a great height, or unbroken. 
Four escape, three trials. Let's do unhook. I can use my deli build then. So simple out. And Hammy, if you are ready, you are good to go. He was nice. Oh, I didn't stay long enough. Getting DVD back. Awesome. I mean, DVD is a ton of fun. I do love it. Uh, all right, let's radio on up. Next person to rotate out is going to be Slobby. So, simple, if you want your uh, queue back up, you're more than welcome to do so. You still pipped? Awesome. Alright, Blood Web, let's take a look. Grab that. Mm. That's fine for it to grab that one. That's not an issue. Let's grab that. Grab the greens. Unfortunately, means I have to grab a purple. Who's the new killer? The newest killer was the nemesis from Resident Evil, which was pretty big. It's a pretty significant crossover. Capcom's not exactly known for their uh, willingness to share IPs, to say the least. So it's a pretty cool addition to Dead by Daylight. That's fine. And let's see if I get a cake. Do I get a cake? Really? Is the game really doing that to me? Okay, no cake again. Well, that's less than ideal, to say the least. I think it's going for that one. That's okay. Oh, crap. Alright, that wasn't actually too bad. Bring a new part with spools, sounds like a plan, Hammy. And there we go, we have a backup cake now. That took way too many blood points for my liking. Uh, and I need to change my build to an unhook build. Rather than approve thyself build. So I'm gonna bring VT instead. So, do I want to do the full deli build, or do I want to do something else, I wonder? Hmm. Let's do deli build, yeah. So, BT, DS, Deliverance, and we'll throw in We're Gonna Live Forever. Might as well for extra blood points. In fact, I'm surprised I wasn't using that prior. When was the last time I played Siege? I think it was with you and True. I'm not going to lie. Um, I started full-timing Dead by Daylight in the October slash November Blood Point event. So it would have to have been around that time last year. So it's been over a year since I've played. Uh, I guess not over a year, close to a year since I played Rainbow Six. For those who don't know, I actually used to stream Rainbow Six. Um... <laughs> uh, not that true, no. Uh, forget what True's entire tag is nowadays. Let me find out. What is True's tag? True Lie. I wasn't sure if uh, he changed it since then. It, it, it's fun. I won't deny that. But I definitely found my home in Dead by Daylight. I not only, you know, play it daily, but I also have a competitive Dead by Daylight league that I organize and host. And have gotten a really cool and awesome uh, community for it. I mean, hey, the the cake still works. It might not be the sacrificial cake, but the ghastly gato is still well worth it. It's just uh, 104 percent. I'm not gonna really sweat the four or five percent to be honest. As long as it's 100 percent across the board, then I'm sure myself and everyone else are pretty freaking happy. Yeah, maybe I'll have to play some Rainbow Six again. The thing is, like, FPSs are those type of games where you kind of have to just keep on honing your skill and muscle memory over time. It's not something that you can really just take a break from and pick back up. I mean, I guess I could. It's not like I've forgotten how to play. It just it definitely takes some time and practice to get back into it. All 
right. Well, let's see what map we end up on. That's if the game decides to load up, that is. I always feel like I load up so quickly, and then I'm just like, oh, yeah, the game's about to start. Nope. Remember when you and uh, True were teaching me? Yeah, seriously. The biggest thing about that game and me is that I have, like, the... I have the game sense, but there's still a lot for me to learn about that game. But for a while, I dedicated myself to it, and I got relatively good with it, too. But I think if I went back to it now... A lot of that muscle memory would just be gone. I'd have to do a ton of relearning. Which isn't a bad thing in its own right. Interesting, some no clip textures? Haven't seen that before. Alright, let's take a look what gens we have. We have one in gallows, one in corner. But they don't have a three gen, which is the good news. I think she knew or figured out where I was, guys. Ooh. And she knows how to hit her shots. Yeah, I shouldn't have been... I tried to sneak that out. I should have uh, really have just dodged. Because that was a really short chase. Barbecue, question mark? Yeah, she's throwing long-range hatchets in a direction she knows there's a survivor. She's a bit haphazard about it, I won't lie, which means that she's not getting value off the hatchets, but still, that is interesting to see. Looks like she reloaded. We have one person coming for me. That looks like Hammy or Salmon, I can't tell. No, that's uh, Slobby. Thank you. Let's get on this gen and then heal. Amy's already down. Yeah, the Huntress seems to know what she's doing, which I'm not a horrible fan of. But we're still on ratio for right now. I'm fearful to see a hatchet come down. Alright, let's work on this real quick. You'll go for the unhook. I'll stick on the gen. Ruin, by the way? No, ruin. That's good, at least. It looks like she's on Slobby. Nope, she's on me. There's nothing I could do there. Drop early. What's up, out of curiosity? Play up here and heal. Slobby takes aggro. That's good news. Hey, congratulations, Liquid. That's wicked exciting. Very happy for you. All right, let's heal. Then immediately go on Saloon. Try and crank that out. Already been cranked. Did she see me? She has not. Good news. We need a gen around the gallows. Yeah, we need to do a gen around that. I keep on trying to, but she keeps on cycling back. She's found me every time I've tried. Less than ideal, to say the least. She's back at the hook. Come on now. Try not to zone out. Right, yeah, BT. She's coming back. Jesus Christ. She actually has some decent aim. Who's humming? Huntress. Huntress, instead of a traditional Terradius, has what's called a lullaby. Her lullaby is 32 meters. Uh, while her Terradius is only 20. So you need to respect her lullaby range over her Terradius. If you hear a Terradius, she already has a hatchet in your back. The lullaby is what you need to respect instead. Because there's no way to understand directionality with her lullaby. That gen's about done. 
Normally I don't like to double up on a gen, but this hunch is actually kind of scary. So I'm gonna help you crank this out. I'll get a skill check and then I'll bounce. Hammy, hammy, hammy! Come on now! I said I was gonna get a skill check. You stole my skill check. Alright, she's going back over here. She's probably gonna be on me. Well, thank God for that dodge. That didn't work out well. Yeah, not much I could do there. Tossing out the water wheel gem. I don't know what you're trying to do here, Salmon, but it ain't gonna work. I I really don't understand. Guys, I, I have to say it once and I'll say it again. Don't play around a pickup or a hook unless you're gonna do something. It's just not a great idea. Because now it wastes your time. But I, I respect the play, I respect the play. I think it was a bad idea, but I respect it. Because now you need to spend time healing. If she gets you down, then that was all for naught. Because you just gave her free value. So do not play around a killer if you don't have to. Don't crouch, run. Running is always better than not. Let's try and get away from the hook. It's way too open for my liking. Basement. Alright, heal me now. I'm waiting for a hatchet to get thrown. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. Please take aggro. Alright, I think you took aggro. Which means Slobby now needs to go for Salmon. Uh, Hammy's taken aggro now, which means I can jump on Water Wheel. I mean, overall, we're not in a bad spot if we look at Hook States and Jen specifically. If we look beyond that, though, she is deadly. Please take her away from this Jen. Alright, if we can get one more gen, we should be able to get at least a three man out. More than that might be pushing it. Especially with me on death hook here. God dang it. She jumped off me. Probably trying to make sure she doesn't get that or that last gen doesn't get popped. Might as well heal myself halfway. Then have someone else finish me off. Salmon's now taking a hit. Hey, uh, Slobby, behind you. Behind you. Hi. Yep. All right, Salmon going down at the end of the world. We need to split on this last gen. I know there's Gallows, there's Water Wheel. I'm not sure what the third one is. Actually, I have no clue. You have Adrenaline? Noted. Hi. Stop moving, please, for the love of God. Okay, now you can move. At the same time, Hamby, I do recommend that you take aggro for me. Where's the slash gem? There's water wheel, there's gallows, there's this one. Basically, none of them have any work on them, though, is the only problem. Window's not great. Salmon's down of all people. Let's just crank out the gen. Oh, right there. That's less than ideal. Which means I need to leave early. Where's Hammy? We need to get on these gens, guys. I haven't seen any progress on Gallows at all. You got sniped? Yeah, Hammy... What is Hammy doing? I see Hammy on a totem. But it's graded on theory, but an execution really doesn't do us much good unless you have inner strength. Which is a possibility, of course. 
She'll probably be on Slobby in a second. Based on the directionality. I need Hammy to get on to Gallows. That way we can three person split. Alright, sounds good. See you in a bit, my friend. Alright. If you can keep her busy for 40 seconds, Slobby, we should be able to get out. Nope. Not happening. She's on me now. So if you could jump back on your gen. She jumped off. Alright, see, hand me on that. Alright, she's going to Gallows. Or is she? Yeah, she is. Remember to respect her lullaby range. That really is her true terror radius. If you actually hear the heartbeat, you're in trouble. 40% on this gen. He's gonna come back to water wheel. Yep. Slobby, I'm rotating back to you. I'm hoping that she's gonna bop water wheel first. Perfect. I'm gonna go for Hammy. I think she's on me. Alright, I'm gonna go for Hammy. Hopefully, Slobby, you're on an exit gate. Hatchet just got thrown. You're not on an exit gate, that's problematic. So I'm going to try and dive back onto the exit gate. We should be able to get at least a two man out, I think. Where is she? She must be on another exit gate, I bet. Fingers crossed. Alright, she's on hammies. Slobby needs to take a body block if possible. Ooh, that's not possible. That was way too quick. Like I said, this Huntress is dangerous. I think I need to just open exit gate. I'm 50% there. Yeah, there's nothing we can do now, unfortunately. Take a body block for me if you can, because I bet you she's going to try and snipe. I'm waiting to see a hatchet. Ugh. Well, I mean, honestly, against this Huntress, a two-person out is not bad in the slightest. Thank you. Well, honestly, not bad at all. GG, well played to the Huntress and the survivors. Yeah, that was, that was a rough match. Like, she, she knew how to play. Whispers, barbecue, corrupt. Didn't even notice corrupt, by the way. Uh, that's how bad corrupt one is. And Iron Maiden, thank God, didn't go into lockers. Yeah, they, she knew how to play. She really did. That was, that was a really good match. Yellow cloth, light speed, that explains why they're so uh, quick. Then decrease time between hatchet throws. Just an overall good Huntress. All right, so in that case, Slobby's rotating out and Simple is in, unless Simple is not ready. Uh, I haven't seen Simple in chat, so give me a second before I rotate out Slobby. Uh, at Simple. You ready? How's Frankie? Frankie's doing well. Uh, can't really complain. He's working at Starbucks currently. So, let's see if Simple's actually ready. If an instance, they're not. I'm going to give them um, another two minutes, roughly. And if they're not here, then we'll get you back in Slobby and ready up. Only one unhook that game, Jesus. That was uh, a wee bit painful. I just realized it is only unhooks. So it's not protection it's either. Yeah, if you want to join back in for now, just so we don't have to wait. Uh, yeah, so we'll get you back on in. We're not going to ready up. I'm going to wait another two minutes. If Simple doesn't join at that point, then we'll just ready up at that moment.
Don't want to wait too long. And blood web. Do I need to craft blood web at all? I do not. Thank God. That makes my life a bit easier. Alright. Well, I'm gonna ready up. So, ready when you guys are. Hey, where my. Somehow my beard tangles itself up in knots. And Sam, when you're ready, ready up as well. Like, I brush it daily to avoid that, but, like, throughout the day, it just, like, somehow manages. It's like when you put headphones into, like, when headphones used to have a cord, headphones into your pocket. It somehow managed to tangle, and you didn't understand how. Okay, try and make sure that it's not tangled at all. I brush it out. But still, I still get these annoying knots in it. Tis, uh, the plight of long beard hair, I suppose. <laughs> But uh, I do like it, uh, can't complain. Except for the mustache hair. Mustache hair is horrible. On one hand, you don't want to shave off your mustache, but you need to trim it constantly. Otherwise, it starts getting in your mouth, which it's not there yet for me, but it's getting there. So, I'm going to have my facial hair shaped and trimmed uh, not too long from now. I just had my hair trimmed like a couple weeks. Yeah, the trim yesterday was a uh, pain to eat food. Yeah, no, once it gets to that point, like you're sitting there deliberating like, should I trim my mustache hair? Should I not? And then you're like, mm, no, I'll wait another day. And it happens again and again and again. And finally, like, screw this noise. I'm done. So I still here, just put, uh, just on the phone with my friend, play a couple more, I'll join back. All right, no worries, simple. Just let me know when you're ready to join, my friend. I got my med kit. I'm just gonna throw on the camping kit because I don't want to bring a yellow. I'd rather bring a brown. All right. Damn. Uh, did we hit uh, West Coast servers all of a sudden? Why is your ping off the charts or something? It's not outside their own possibility. I mean, mine's right now at a seventy. 374 because I am central and since I'm hosting it's possible that may have gotten west coast all right cakes crossbar um it's around 200 I'm usually a bit above 100 when I play on east yeah so I, I'd be willing to bet maybe west coast and interesting they brought a Yamaoka you don't see Yamaoka too often as an offering. Why Yamaoka? We all know that one person that will try and boop the snoot no matter what, when they find excuse me, out the uh, out the killer is the pig. That is true. That is true, Justin. Trapper, maybe? Yeah, Trapper wouldn't be bad for the bamboo. It's been... Uh, real fun setting up in-game events and sales. And these are still some new loading screens. I, I seriously do wonder if maybe they're loading in more. Take me out of queue. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> All right. No worries. Simple. Uh, refund your one point. Uh, enjoy your nap, my friend. I hope it is restful indeed. And if I don't see you later today, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I've got this awful disease where I can't stop telling airport jokes. My doctors say it's terminal. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. My exhaustion just hit me all of a sudden. Just got super sleepy. I mean, I, I can appreciate it. I'll see. I'm Team Felix. Can't say no to that stash. Anyone on Team something. Hope you enjoy the anniversary. Yeah, these are new. I... I swear to God, they must be loading in more. It's like the one of Spirit. It just was a phase. Yeah, I see that one. I can still hear humming when I sleep. Feeling cute today might give you a hat. Give you the hatch. <laughs> All right. Hello. Well, let's spread out. 
do some gems. I don't think any of us are running prove thyself. Gen over here. Gen should be in middle. Ruin. Ruin three. Wraith. Okay, Wraith. Sure, buddy. That's a big ol' sure right there. He has faster recloak time, by the way. So Franklin's ruin. Ruin's gone. Franklin's is in play. Uh, let's keep that in mind. If you're running a medkit, like a brown one like mine, my medkit's pretty much useless now. I'm shocked they still got that second hit. Oh. Is he gonna camp out? Stay on Jens, guys. I don't know if he's camping. He just recloaked. I see one person, two. Where's the third? Or unless there's two back there. Wait, where's the third survivor? Oh, they're back there. Okay. One of you's probably gonna have to go for me. Uh, who's over there across from me on the family residence? You need to go for me now. You have 30 seconds to get here before I go on second stage. Whoever's wearing that crown, I need you. That crown right over there. Because I don't know where Wraith is. Even if Wraith is on you, I'd prefer to you take the hit and momentum to me. Thank you, Hammy. Cutting it close, though, I will say. Cutting it real close. All right, you have, we'll make it. He has Dragon's Grip, too. So, Dragon's Grip, Franklin's. Fascinating. Well, might as well grab this again for the hell of it. Oh, it's fully depleted. Yeah, 90 seconds, I guess. Makes sense. I should have gone for the pallet. Oops. I knew there was a pallet there. I couldn't figure out where, though. So we see a gen regress, and you're gonna have to wait 60 seconds for Dragon's Grip. Salmon takes a hit. Yeah, he do be a camper. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to set up the unsafe unhooks, potentially. He's on me. Oh, uh, you might have to sacrifice here. Yeah, he's camping. I think, I hate to do this, but it might be smart of us to just crank out Jens if he camps again and to sacrifice the next person on hook. Yeah, deliverance, that's good news. So if he camps, we can work around that. Because right now what he's doing, it's we continue to try, we're in trouble. So I, if you, if he's not in chase with any of us, uh, I would recommend holding out until the very last second, Salmon. And I mean the very last second. You have 60 seconds on that. If he sticks on you for that time, that will result in us doing three quarters of a gem. I don't think he's in chase. Maybe... Oh. Eerie map, let let's go. Very nice, very nice. That was Dragon's Wrath that just popped. That's slobby down. I know I don't like double and pound gen like this, but right now we're in a tricky situation, so let's crank. Slobby, let us know if they're camping. It'll be harder on stage two than stage one. Yo, what's up, Loco? How goes it, my friend? Hopefully you're doing well. All right. There's Wraith. He started the uncloak. Where'd he go? He was here and then he doubled back. He's going for the unhook. Doing good, just got done surviving. Fair play, fair play. Well, very happy to have you here as always. If you are interested in surviving anymore though, you're more than welcome to queue up and we'll get you in on one of the next matches. 
This Wraith is pretty much threatening an unsafe unhook every single time. Hmm, fearful. Thank God, no. Wraith. No pallet. God dang it. So close on that one, too. All right. Let's wait it out. He's not on me. Good news there. Rank two, one right now in the lead. Awesome. All right, heal. Don't want to be injured against the Wraith if you can help it. Sorry, Hammy. I was trying to use the pallet to my advantage. Get out of here, Wraith. There's Dragon Script that just went off. Looks like he's going for Dragon Script. Which, based on that sound, was that hammy or was that slobby? I don't know which. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that was Salmon. Ooh. Not the end of the world, but not great either. Man, I wish I could heal myself, but Franklin's straight up tore through my med cup. Amy's the one who's gonna have to go for the unhook. I'm still injured, and Slobby is currently on second stage. There, he's breaking. move off. Even if I get hit by Dragon's Wrath, it won't matter. So I might as well do that and take aggro. No Dragon's Wrath. That's good news. 40 seconds, Sammy. Keep him busy for 40 seconds. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to leave early. This game loves to spike when I have to run. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's two gens. You already know that that side's done. One here, nothing. Check this gen next. He's probably gonna come for me since I just hit Dragon's Wrath. Someone's gonna probably have to go for Hammy. We have 30 seconds before they go to second stage. Unfortunately, everyone else is on second stage as well. Shoot. Wraith is on me. I hear him growling. Oh, that's unfortunate. Go for Hammy, quick. Oh, he's going for you guys right now. He's going for the unhook as you speak. So I would dodge real quick. Hopefully you guys got the warning. But probably not fast enough. And he's back in chase. Good news is we got the last gen. Oh, the adrenaline! <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you, Slobby. Uh, he might be on a hammy. Thankfully. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Okay, there goes Hammy. Can't do much about that. Hatch is right here. We need to split on Exegate Pressure. So, let's see if anyone's on this one. Answer is no. Like, go for me now. Come back to where we all started, Wraith. I can imagine. I was surprised when I saw it pop, too. 
All right, exit gate over by the family estate is about to be 99. Leave if you can, is he camping? We have 30 seconds to get you. Salmon takes a hip. Exit gate's primed. 10 seconds. Add BT, take the BT hit, please. Open that gate ASAP, my friend. Heal Tucker. Body block if you can. Mm, not happening. Yeah, there's no two ways about that. We tried, we tried. Almost. I think if they would have hit you with the BT, that would have worked. No, I appreciate that, Hammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that being said, GG, well played to the Wraith and these survivors. It's a, it a good game overall. Can't complain with that result. All seen spirit. Interesting. Repair progress. Huh. I guess that does make a bit of sense. Ruin, corrupt. I did not notice corrupt. Dragon's Wrath and Franklin's. Huh. Fair play. But not too shabby overall. That was a pretty good match. Yes, exactly. Your sacrifice was not in vain. All right. Don't think anyone else is queued up right now, so we should be good to go. Unfortunately, Franklin stole my godforsaken medkit. Would have liked to save that if possible. I know it's corrupt, but I thought it was Tremors. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I didn't even register that uh, corrupt is in the game. Uh, of course you would. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I guess I'll take the gamble. Alright, think I'm gonna dip. Alright, Slobby. Well, I appreciate you being here as always. No worries. Always love to see you and play some matches with you. And uh, if you are going to dip from the stream as well, I hope you have an amazing, amazing night. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon, my friend. All right, all right. And with that being said, we do have an opening for those looking to join for some matches of Survivor, if you are interested in that. I'm gonna hang around, sounds good. Just DBD'd out for a little bit, I take it. Which right, way do you go? Okay, that way, let's take that. Yeah, it's kind of open to take the ranger med kit, but no dice. Uh, I mean, we have the bloody parchment, but I would like to prep another cake. And it's always a pain in the butt when the cakes don't spawn in your blood web. I swear to God. Yeah, that's fine. So in that case, we grab this one, this one. Oh, look at that. We got a cake out of, uh, whatchamacallit? Out of a mystery box. Gonna bring Commodious brand new parts. Sounds like plan. And look, perfect. We have a cake on our next one, too. Let's throw in actually the bloody party streamers for this one. Just get that out of my inventory, and then we'll bring in the cake after that. Uh, also gonna be back. Have to put sprinkler on in the yard. No worries. You are good, my friend. I right, got a med kit. We got our build. How many more unhooks? I need another ten unhooks. I mean, not outside the realm possibility of doing it rather quickly, but still. In order to let Hammy have enough time to do what they need to do, I'll refuse to ready up. 
And that should give Hammy a minute plus load time. All right, all right. Let's see, only an hour more on the stream. Though, if you guys are looking to extend a stream by one hour, you can do so as we are four subs off of extending a stream by one hour. We do have our daily sub goal of five, and we do hit five. We do extend a stream by uh, an extra hour. Always a fun time. Get more time with the, the vent. I've been doing some grinding offline, but like the last couple nights, I've just opted not to. I've been DBD'd out. <laughs> But still getting plenty of cakes on Killer. I think I have like 70 some cakes on Trapper, like 30 some on Pyramid Head, and a ton on Wraith too. It's uh, it's been a cake palooza to say the least. I won't need to worry about blood points for quite some time. Streamers, cake, more cake, and last but not least, even more. Gotta love it when you see it. Freaking creepy image, that one of Doctor and the spreaders. Criminy Doc. Those crazy use are at it again with the vaulting stabbing and running away. Uh, I don't find Legion running away all too often. Running towards me, maybe. Running away, not so much. I already read that one. I love the art, though. Just so good. Like I said, I really do hope that they put, like, an album or something where you can look through all the quotes and art. Like, a, a fifth year anniversary, you know, yearbook or scrapbook or something. My favorite part about working on Dead by Daylight is the memes. What a wonderful community. <laughs> Love that one. I feel like that was a lot of the community when they saw Trickster. Oh, no. He's hot. Um, I still have never tried Dead by Daylight Mobile. Just not sure if it's worth my time. Not to mention I already play a ton of Dead by Daylight. Starting to get popping again in my ear. Hmm. Uh, probably just nasal, con nasal congestion or sinus congestion. As at least that's what the doc said last time. Does it happen without the headset, or is it just with the headset? That's the question. No, it's without the headset. Okay. So yeah, probably sinus congestion. Azarov's resting place. Corrupt. No, corrupt. Ruin. Mm, hard to tell. I don't know if we had the time to pop it. Uh, we'll prove thyself the gen with Lori here. So far, nothing. Looks like Hammy's in chase. That's good news. Hang on to chase for 40 seconds. We'll get one gen done. Looks like they dropped chase, though. Legion? In that case, we do not want to be social. Ruin is up. Now, interestingly enough, he M'd one Lori. Why do we... Why do you M1 Lori when he could have failed frenzied upwards of three people? That is an interesting choice, Legion. I won't lie. Alright. I bolt. I don't know why you wouldn't break that, my friend. I can just loop this again. He messed up. He lost track of where I was. I can see your red light, my friend. Ain't gonna help you too much. You break. You do. Let's go to Shack now. You're making a mistake by committing to me for too much time. There 
There's the red light. They're right on me. Are you going to feral frenzy me again? That's not smart. That's a waste of your power, my friend. Not the vault in. Ooh, you caught me. Fair play, fair play. That was way too long of a chase, though, Legion. Let me tell you what. I'm going in basement, though, so... A little bit unfortunate at that positioning. Let's see. One, two... On gens. Who's the third person to run around? I know Lori's there on my left. I see one person in the back. And who is that? Hammy, I think? Is Lori in chase now? Looks like Lori's in chase. I'd wait until they're out of range for Frenzy to go for me. Yeah, Lori's in chase as we speak. Thana is up. I wonder if it's Thana Ruin Pop. They're back on me. I have 30 seconds until I go to second stage. Someone's gonna have to come for me ASAP. I'm hoping Lori will, but it's not looking like it. So I think I'm going on second stage on my first hook. That sucks. Is she just zoning out or what is she doing? Five, four, thank you for the unhook. Oh no, Salmon. Yeah, that was not the right move there. Unfortunate. I thought you had the timing. Apparently not. Uh, hey, Hammy. You might need to get over here ASAP, otherwise I'm dead on hook. And Lori might be down here with us in basement. BT? No BT. I have to sacrifice myself. Go. Yeah, BT. All good, Salmon. Not your fault. I think you guys may have just been a bit too aggressive on the unhooks. So I'm going to die now. Don't go for me. There's no point. Set up for the Lori's unhook. Unfortunately, I'm going to die no matter what. Because I don't have BS. Are they going to let me live? They let me live. That's odd. Salmon's healed up. I'm 75%. I'm ready for a pickup now. Pick me up, please. Like, I'm gonna have to have one of you take a body block for me. Oh, uh, Lori! Thank you, Lori! You are a god among men. There's no protection here. Oh, she's going for me. Why are you going for me, Legion? Oh, bollocks. I'm dead. Oh, that didn't work out. Why do I see someone on a chest? Yeah, don't do a chest when you're next to the, the killer. Who is that approaching the hook? You guys play way too close in Terridus. You need to respect Terridus more. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, good news is I went on for a pretty decent chase, so I can't complain too much. Unfortunately, Legion was not fond of me. That's Lori. Get hit by the Feral Frenzy, my friend. Why? Why stand still, though? Okay, I mean, I guess Legion takes the Fell Frenzy and leaves. Odd decision. If I was you, uh, Salmon, I would give Lori that medkit for the heal on the gen next to you. You would get the Prove Thyself value and she would heal, which would also mean that Thana gets less value, too. That's a thought. Uh, to each their own. Because Legion is a common. I bet you they have Disco. 
Lori's gonna go down for it too. You need to take a hit for Lori. No, Lori's gonna go down. You need to take a hit for her, otherwise she goes down. Yeah. So if you if you see yourself in those situations, you have to take a body block or to share that med kit. People all too often do not share med kits and it's a mistake doing so. It more often res results in situations uh, where you just lose value. Because if she was healed there while you were given prove thyself value, then she wouldn't have gone down. You could potentially try and pick her up. She is ready to get picked up. You would take a hit, and from there you'd pick her up. But now with the frenzy, I don't think you make it in time. Your best bet might be good for a hammy who's on second stage. But you'll take a trade if that's the case. No BT either. So one of you goes back up on a hook. And that fatigue's not going to be long. Uh, you don't have Unbreakable. Amy's down. No Unbreakable across the board. Nope. Uh, not your fault, Salmon, on that uh, basement grab. I think it was just bad timing. Unfortunately, I think just you or Lori need to guarantee that you drew Legion far enough away. But I will say, I think in that case, sharing your medkit with Lori would have honestly have done wonders for this situation at the end. Because it would have guaranteed that she would have been healthy, would have gotten through that self value as she healed. Of course, she's not exactly on comms. So there's no guarantee that's exact. that's what she would have done, unfortunately. There's Legion. Yeah, the med kit and the body block, I'd say, is the main two misplays there. But, hey, at the end of the day, uh, you make mistakes and you move on and do better next time, right? Because if you would have given the med kit, then she would have needed a body block. If you don't give her med kit, then she needs a body block. Otherwise, Legion will just, you know, slug out for the 4k. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. Th those are the type of things that you just learn over time by trying to play as efficiently as possible. Dead by Daylight, as much as it's a game of hide-and-go-seek mi mixed with tag, it really is a resource management game. And it's strange to say that, but it is. You need to manage your resources as a survivor, as a killer on both sides. And you can sometimes give up resources purposely, like taking body blocks for health states or hook states and so on. Interesting. Uh, what are they doing? Their Terrius is gone. I mean, they're not worried about DS. Are they? Ooh, you have adrenaline. If they close hatch, you could potentially get it. The question is, do you commit to this Exegate or do you go to the other one? I think you have to commit to this one. Your hope is that the hatch is just on the other side of the map. Basically. Ooh, this will be interesting. No real sense in recovering at this point. A general will get you back up one way or another. But I guess you do get recovery points, to be fair. I would just go right in front of the exit. Honestly. Waste as little time. Because if they close the exit gate, you just have to be on Or close the hatch, you just need to be on it. This will be interesting. Just go for it. Don't hesitate. That other exit gate's way too close, though. Oh. Oh, no. The 50-50 did not work. It was a close one. Maybe if Resilience or Wake Up, that would have worked, but... Legion's wanted those extra blood points from the hatch. Unfortunate. It is what it is. I mean, the Legion didn't play bad, but I wouldn't say they are great either. They are weak on loops. They, they struggled a lot. Ikari did make a misplay on the Window Vault. I should have baited and not have committed. 
uh, GG, well played to the Legion and the survivors. Uh, Fredo, were you the Legion or were you our Lori? Your Legion? GG's my friend, GG's. If my wiggle stayed, I would have uh, probably been okay, but not reset. Yeah, it'll reset because it got re down, unfortunately. Um, Steamed, are you done for now? Or did it just kick you out? Don't think I see you online. You lost connection to the party? Or sorry, not Steam, Salmon. My mistake. Yeah, so in that case, when you're ready, Salmon, feel free to rejoin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a gamble and almost paid off. It was close, but no cigar. But would love for you to join the Guilty Ones if you are interested, Fredo. I am Mark, aka Guilt Spire. I'm an educational killer main, here to teach kills how to play killer, and survivors how to play against killer. Would love to have you here as part of the community. I had to do a challenge, uh, otherwise I'd let you leave. That's fair, that's fair. Hey, at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. And hey, what's up, Shelby? How goes it? And thank you much for giving the Discord and the YouTube some shouts. How have you been today? If uh, you're not DBD'd out, we do have one spot open if you are looking to join for a few matches. Excuse me. Oh, are you looking to join Fredo? Or are you looking to follow? Not sure which. <laughs> Either ways, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, right now we're just doing nothing but Survivor. Both? Yeah, in that case, if you want to do that, if you could do me a favor and go down to the channel points rewards, which, uh, Shelby, do me one favor. Uh, just got into my house. It's been a day of errands and meh. Uh, how are your games going? Games are going well. Games are going well. Cannot complain. And Fredo, thank you much for the follow. Welcome to the Guilty Ones, my friend. Very happy to have you here. Uh, also, real quick, Shelby, uh, don't uh, clear out the Swift Q channel point rewards because I use that to keep track of the order. So gotta do challenge on killer? No worries, no worries. Well, when you are interested in joining, feel free to queue up. All good, Shelby. No worries. I was wondering who it was because the other day I saw it happen too. I'm like, hmm, could have been Shelby, could have been Sarah. Frankie says he didn't do it. Maybe I forgot and I just did it, so <laughs> it was me. All good, all good. It happens. Sarah and I both do it. I'll tell her. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, it's just kind of that way I can use the three people. And then when there's a fourth, I just rotate the first person out. That way it's a first in, first out system. It makes my life that much easier. But no worries. But by the way, I'm sorry to hear that your day was meh. Hopefully it does get better to some degree. Especially now that you're home from a day of errands. Uh, by the way, I also applied to, um, whatchamacallit, the stream team. Why am I blanking on the name? Uh, the stream team that you and I talked about. I, I applied as well. I had someone actually stop by and say hi from uh, Gamer Friendly. Yeah, uh, someone stopped by, said hi, we chatted for a bit. It was Pixel. I'm not sure if you know them. I know that you know another person in the stream team, but Pixel came over and said hi, and we were chatting for a little bit. They apparently are also another Dead by Daylight streamer. Pixel's the leader, I believe. Ah, oh, fair play. Well, they dropped a follow, and we chatted for a hot moment. She's a sweetie. Seemed like it. Seemed like a very nice person. So if they're the stream team organizer, I'm sure that they do great. So I'm excited. Uh, to see what their response is. I'd, I'd love to be part of stream team. I know I have children of the fog and I'll definitely continue to support that try and grow that where possible But being part of an actual stream team. I think will definitely be uh, a cool thing Speaking of I want to make sure that the thing actually went through I guess it had to have right Yeah, it would have had to though. I don't have anything to show that it did hmm. Odd. Normally from those forums, it sends you an email like, thank you for submitting this, or answering this questionnaire, yada, yada, yada. But, fair enough this time. And thank you much for the reminder to hydrate, Amy. I appreciate you. Yeah, I think it's just the end page. There's no email confirmation. Gotcha. And a stretch to boot. Thank you, Salmon. Do me a posture check, too, while I do that. Oh, gotta love it when you do a stretch and you hear like three of your vertebrae just pop back to back. 
<laughs> Dazzy, I really needed that one. Hey, what's up, Munch? How goes it? How are you doing today? And w root beer for me tastes like some sort of mint uh, and drink, although unlike it, not so good. I'm sorry to hear that. If there is anything that myself or the community can do to support you, please don't hesitate to let me know. And hopefully your day can get a little bit better by chatting a wee bit as well as watching some Dead by Daylight. And if you want to talk about it, feel free. More than happy to listen. I'm sure the community here will be very supportive. I, I mean, not just am I sure, I know for a fact. My community is very kind-hearted and welcoming. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a and I do like it as those hints of uh, vanilla, but it is a bit more of a traditional uh, root beer. That's why I like it. Just got some good such bad news and I'm just numb. I'm sorry to hear that. Bad news can definitely be rough, and it can very much weigh on you. Carpenter Invention's up. Um, and it's going to take time. Hopefully the bad news isn't, you know, serious to the point where, you know, it's irreparable. Um, but know that there are people that are willing to not only listen, but also, you know, support you in what ways we can. Don't like the situation we're in. Check for Undying Thrill. Neither. Vic is out. Hmm. Vic's on Bill. Now prove thyself. They'll probably pick up now. Yup. Where's Billy Boy at? Yeah, I feel like we need to take hostage our Victor hostage a little bit more than we're doing right now. Let's wait. Let's wait. We're gonna want to run a little bit. I'll trade you, Medkit. Thankfully, it doesn't look like she saw you. Alright, she's on me. So I'll take aggro. I'll probably take a hit here. Yep, no if ands, or buts about that. Mm, do I make the pal at the top of ramp? Yes, I do. But now what? Do I make the vault? No. Yeah, there's nothing I could do there. Thankfully, deliverance is up, so don't worry about me. I have to go in for a procedure, and I'm freaking out because I'm terrified to go under, but I know it's going to help you. I can understand that. I've been through a number of invasive surgeries, thankfully and unfortunately. Uh, would that be to have my tonsil and adenoids removed, to having... Um, my leg repaired from a pretty bad break. So I, I fully understand that. And I definitely sympathize with you. Or rather, empathize in this case. That's yeah, a been there, done that type of situation for me. Uh, best thing I can recommend, have trust in the doctors. But also, you know, ask questions, be inquisitive. Because sometimes the more you know, the less scared you'll be. Um, and, you know, though it can be terrifying, I think that the fact that you've already come to the conclusion that's for the better, uh, that's a good thing, you know, because it means that there, it's a means to an end, right? But uh, can fully understand and respect the, you know, being terrified of what's going on. Let's go out. She's on me. Let's go to Shack and hope to hell we have value. Hi there. Vaulting? 
Maybe I should have dropped that pallet in retrospect. Yeah, I should have. I don't get to where I was going. Yeah, I should drop pallet. That was my mistake. I was hesitant to do so because I felt like I might be able to get to a tile. But it was not the case. Salmon's down there. Will she bop or pop the gem? She does not. I wonder if she doesn't have any gen regression. But she's also staying nearby, so whoever gets me needs that BT. She'll probably transfer off and I can take a BT hit forever that is. He's back out. Pop or pop. Pop, I think? Hard to say. He's on someone, so someone else can come for me. I have 30 seconds and counting. Hopefully the bill will commit to the unhook. Right now, we're not in a horrible position, but we're not in a great position either, all things considered. Yup. Thank you, thank you. Hammy down. That is actually a good down for us. Uh, Sammy has not been on hook yet. And I'll commit to the unhook since I currently have DS. Let Bill commit to the gem. Vic is out, meaning that she's probably close by. Thankfully, I have BT. So if she does transfer... Hmm. Terry just went away. Did she leave Victor? It's possible. She's on Bill. So less than likely that she'll switch. Let's heal you up. Bill down. Unfortunately, that was really quick. Less than ideal for sure. All right, now we're only half a gen off of ratio. No. <laughs> There's Victor over there. Keep that in mind. We could go up and kick him, potentially. Salmon down. Victor's on me. That's fine. Okay, I have to actually commit to the crush. So I'm gonna keep him hostage for a bit until I can guarantee a heal. Did someone just go to second stage? Oh, that's unfortunate. Hammy, you need to go for Salmon. Unhook on Salmon. Uh, v goes court. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. Why do you ask out of curiosity? Alright, safe unhook. But uh, she's definitely over here, and I'm on death hook. Need to get out of here. Uh. Little Rugard was part of that, no longer. I was part of that, Little Rugard is part of that. Uh, a lot of people were. Vigo's Court is, for all intent and purpose, not really a thing at this point. I just faced his hag. Oh, Little Rugard's hag? Well, I'm surprised he's not playing Trickster, I'll be honest. He is a Trickster main now, after all. But, uh, actually, Slobby, if you're not aware, I have now my own league called Champions of the Fog. Which I both compete in, host, and organize. Yeah, I think Rue is. I saw him jump on DVD earlier. It's usually around his, uh, his stream time. Oh no, did Sam get grabbed out of a locker? What was that? Whatever it was, is bad news for us. Right, let's try and get this next gen out ASAP. Hope to high heaven that they don't have barbecue and chili. You got surrounded by both twins. No way out. No, no, no. See, no way out is a perk on uh, Trickster. Not twins. 
Nope, Phil, take aggro. Is she on me? She is. Uh, do I have anything in front of me? I have a vault. I don't make it. Phil, need to take aggro. Phil, need to take aggro. Well, Bill, if you could have body blocked, done something, anything really, that would have been helpful. And you guys are not going to finish that. You need to dodge. Um, hatch is directly next to my hook. So if you, if Bill goes on hook, or you, go, uh, I guess if Bill goes on hook, hopefully you don't. Uh, it's right there. I was talking about my options. I think, I knew, I knew what you're talking about, Sam, and I was just making a, a cheeky little joke, that's all. <laughs> All right, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Emmy has Victor kidnapped. I'd vault that. I don't think I have the time not to. There should be two pals downstairs that you can use to your advantage. Nope, right there. Drop. He's gonna go around probably. Yeah, you're down. Which means you now need to hope that Phil... Ooh, he's finishing Jen. Oh no, it would have been seconds earlier. Just seconds earlier, you would have had that adrenaline play. All right, Phil's on exit gate. Let's see if he goes for the unhook or if he just commits to it. Next question is, which way is Twins going? Ooh. Bill, you might be cutting that a little close, my boy. Yeah, you don't make that. I don't know what he was thinking. He should have left earlier. Like, I appreciate the commitment, but dang, that was not the play. Is she opening? Oh, is she opening for Bill or is she just opening for extra points? No, she's just opening for extra points. <laughs> All right, fair play, twins, fair play. That was a close one. Between that gen just barely popping after you got picked up. And if that would have happened, I think that would have resulted in a longer chase and Bill would have opened up exit gate. Whether or not he would have helped you to survive, that's another question entirely. But GG. Well played to the twins and the survivors. Slot, uh, say the best for last, that makes sense. Once again, didn't know it's corrupt. Barbecue was in play after all. That is unfortunate to say the least. You got Oni? As in like you purchased Oni or you are playing against an Oni, Karma? Or Kurama, not Karma. Sorry about that, dyslexia. How are you doing today? Hopefully doing well. What have you been up to, if anything much? Let's throw another med kit. Perfect, perfect. I bought Oni. Fair play. I mean, Oni, Oni's a fun one. Biggest thing about Oni, of course, is the fact that you just need to get those early hits. If survivors are just pre-dropping pallets and making good distance, it can it can be rough for Oni. It can be real rough. The biggest thing is just trying to get your power as soon as possible. Have you been playing Oni at all today, or has have you just bought him? I'll say, Amy, when you are ready, feel free to ready on up. Unless you are done for the day. Me and, uh, me and only player who never uses power. Sorry, got some pizza? No worries, Amy, you're good. I mean, if you, if you're playing Oni without using his power, I mean, that, that is some commitment. I played them already today, almost killed everyone in my first game with them too. Hey, that's freaking exciting, congrats. Yeah, Oni, Oni's a fun one. There's a bit of nuance to him, but he's pretty straightforward otherwise. Let's see, what's on my to-do list tonight after stream? I need to... Hmm. I need to record another episode of Resident Evil 7 for tomorrow. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Just need to record uh, Resi 7. Gameplay, which I think we're we're about done. Not done done, but getting there. I have a few more things to do.
All right, let's see. Will this one be the last game? I guess it depends on how long the queue time is in addition to the game itself. But I'm thinking this one might be the last one. Could be the second last one, but probably the last one, I think. We are queued up now, though, so that's good news. You have 10 anniversary flashlights. How many do I have? I have 11 flashlights, 15 medkits, 13 toolboxes. The toolboxes are actually pretty nice because they are commodious. That is a nice little touch to have those on hand. How does my beard always get so tangled? Makes zero sense whatsoever, I'll be honest. Yeah, medkits are yellow medkits. Toolboxes are commodious. I'm not sure what the flashlights are. Uh, does it say charges? Eight seconds of use? So is it a green? Mm, if it's just eight seconds, it's just a uh, brown. That's kind of disappointing. So I guess brown, yellow, green is what they did. Okay. I mean, that's not too bad, all things considered. Still wish there were more cakes in my blood web, but... Say la vie. Still need six more unhooks, but that's about it otherwise. For this challenge, at the very least. Looks like we got our killer in the lobby. Lack of cakes of survivors is actually ridiculous. It is. Like, I will say, sometimes you can find two or three in its place. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that if I really wanted to grind blood points... And I'm shocked that more people haven't realized this. Like, I would just go and play killer because I'm guaranteed one cake per blood web. Versus survivor, I'm not. So, I have to get more than 50,000 per game in order to potentially get me a cake. That's why I'm grinding killer for BP. I have, like, 40 cakes in my legion. Yeah, I mean, it, it's the smart move. I have, like, seven, I think 70 on Trapper, like, 30 on Wraith, and 30, 40 on Pyramid Head. Um, but that's the smart move, is just grind out on killer and get stacks on stacks on stacks. <laughs> 69 on Trapper refused to go up or down now. <laughs> fair play, fair play. But yeah, it, it's a bit rough for survivors. I guess the only benefit is that you can guarantee, um, you know, a four stack of cakes. Um, whereas killer, you can only really guarantee one. But technically, one is enough to get enough value as long as you're getting upwards of 30,000 blood points per match. If you throw on barbecue and chili, you can pretty much guarantee at least 60,000 um, overall. Because if you get 20,000 and then you get your stack of cake, that's 40, and then additional 20 off the barbecue, that would be 60. So that would get you a cake plus an additional 10,000 blood points. Now, if you get 30 then that could be upwards of 90,000, which is almost two cakes per one. But if other survivors, let's say all four survivors, my god, you just get cakes on cakes on cakes. The the amount of blood points you can get is just something else. Pig, thank you for the shout out on that. Which means deny her early game value. Let's check for Undying Thrill. Neither. <sighs> Check for Ruin. No Ruin. Now that is surprising. Huh. Yeah, what's up, Wolf? How goes it? How have you been, my friend? I'll let you stick on that, Chen. I'm gonna move off. Doing good? Happy to hear. Happy to hear. I've been joined the Dead by Daylight 5th anniversary event. There's someone on the chest. Pig. Doesn't look like she's on me. Corrupt Invention. Come back to main trickster. Are oh, you main trickster? That is, that is a decision for sure. And that's three gens. Oh, did Tammy get taken off a of gen? Ooh. That is mildly unfortunate. Gets dropped down. Logan starts streaming soon. You forgot as the pig. <laughs> that is a uh, that is a punishing mistake, my friend. Where'd she bring you? There she is. Let's 
what Hurley. Tap the gem. As do you focus on drinking water to even care about her? <laughs> Tis a thing. She's coming. She crouched. Is she on you? Yeah. All right, I took a hit. Hopefully I'll get you some time. Let's go long side. Ooh. I thought that she committed to the right, but I must have been mistaken. Fair play. All right, I have deliverance, so you don't need to worry about that. Oh, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Unless you have uh, Alex's toolbox. <sighs> Survivors need to understand when things are the right time to do things and when things are not the right time to do things. That was not the right time to do things. Hi, pig. Bye, pig. Come on, chase me. You know you want to. Perfect. Let's play upstairs and the downstairs. Downstairs now. We should be able to get enough distance here for the vault. I think she decided she's wasted too much time on me. Good news. Uh, how many boxes are there? One, two, three, four. F Wait, are there six boxes? Three. There are. She not only has Jigsaw Sketch, but she also has Annotated Blueprint. So there are six boxes in total. Holy hell. I wasn't expecting to see that. Now, I will say that she's used up a lot of her head traps. At least five of them, I think. Maybe four. I swear to God, if anyone pops a gen right now, we're dead. Well, didn't want to say it out loud, but that is the case. That's a little bit unfortunate, because now you have four people trying to get their bear traps off, and you have a one out of six chance on every attempt. This is chaos. For someone to have done that, that was a huge misplay. Yeah, we should have gotten at least a few people without traps. Okay, thankfully, one person's trap is off. Good news there. We have 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Salmon's on second stage. Less than ideal. I'm gonna try and get my trap off first. And I'll go for salmon thereafter. Oh, bollocks. I messed up. Alright, I'll have to grab you on passing. I only have a minute and 15 seconds left to get my trap off. Yo, what's up, Apocalyptic? How goes it? How goes it? Hopefully you're doing well. Do not go for the same box as me. Go to another box, please. All right, we have less and less time right now. Claire, what are you doing? Are you just waiting to watch and see if I die? Claire, you could do anything else but be around me. 
Go die in a hole for all I care. That would probably been more useful in that instance. Oh, shoot. Now or never. Have a... 50-50 chance. I don't think I get to the other one. Thank God for that. Wow. Talk about tight timing. Good news is, I think she only has maybe one trap left in her arsenal. But we're not in a good spot when it comes to gems. Yes, I can heal you now. If I had taken the time to heal you, I hope you understand, I would have died. <laughs> oh, Claire, you are a special survivor, aren't you? There you go. Hammy's down. That's not great. Where, what are you doing? Where are you going? You're not going to help anyone by going for the freaking hook. Okay, let's leave early. There's the hook. Will she jump on me? Let's keep an eye out in case he crouch walks at me. So far, nothing. Well, she comes from a roundabout way. There she is. She just passed. I'm hoping that... Okay, there we go. Looks like Claire's getting off a hook. Good news there. 40 seconds left till this gen pops. If we see Sam or Hammy in chase, we need to ensure that they don't end up going down. We need to find Sam and heal them. Is my timing just like... Do I, can I just predict what's going on and what I say happens or what's what, what's happening here? <sighs> uh, yeah, that's a thing. Maybe, maybe I just, I, I know what's going to happen because I'm just looking at the situation going, okay, if this happens, this happens, we need to make sure we do this and that. I'm always like trying to go a few steps ahead. Now, why drop? Why drop there? That's not for a headpiece. That's not for that. Did Claire actually get a hook sabo? I think she must have. There we go, Dino Hole. Um come on, come on. They, you know what, Claire? You actually did hook Sabo, so that did work out in our favor. I will give you credit or credits, too. And you took the aggro and hook state, so that worked out well. Now, we just need to get more gens. Right now, we're one and a half gens behind. And this also means that if anyone gets in chase, I need to take aggro. Otherwise, they will die on hook. Which also means I should be the one going for the unhook, more likely than not. I'll wait 30... Nope, someone immediately unhooked. That might be interesting. Look around for the pig. Claire's trying her best. She she is. She, she makes some questionable decisions, but she's trying. Mm, I'm hoping you have a DS, and I'm hoping you can hit it. Let's find out. There's not much I could do to stop that one. I had no inclination that you're in chase. Nope. So now we are about to only be down by a half a gem. Okay. Now we're going to be up by one. I'll commit. It's better for me to do that than to not. I'll take the hook state. I'm not on death hook. If that next gen over there is about to pop, we're golden. But Pig is coming over there. I would leave early salmon because you're in her territory. She's going to look there. Unless you're committing, but that's going to be an overcommitment, I think. Wow, nicely done. I, I applaud the commitment. I really do. Now I need Hammy to come get me. 
And where's the other exit gate? The exit gate's behind me? It is. Uh, please don't bring her back over to the hook! Actually, wait, maybe that is the play. Take the DT hit. She did it early. So she'll chase me now. Go to the exit gate, get it working. I'm gonna try and buy time here. She's not going for me anymore. She's going for the person on the exit gate. That's Hammy, which means now I can dive on Exocape. And then protect it for 30 seconds still. So I need to mend, don't I? That takes 8 seconds within its own right. You're already on it. Open it. We can't. Wait, no, don't, 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 don't open, don't open, don't open, just in case. Okay, in that case, leave. We're leaving. No Blood Warden. No, thank you. Not gonna test that theory. I would leave in case there's Blood Warden. That's all I'm saying. If you open like that, you leave. Because I ain't testing faith. Thank God, no Blood Warden. I appreciate that, Amy. I mean, getting two out there at the end, based on where we were for a moment there, is actually a good result. So, GG, well played to these survivors as well as the pig. Yep, I was right, Jigsaw Sketch, an antenna blueprint. Tinkerer! Oh, that's how she's sneaking up the gens. Fair play. Say the best for last, makes sense. Pop makes sense. Crop makes sense. Fair play. Gee, geez. All right, well, I do think that there is going to be the end of today's stream. But with that being said let's see who we want to go and raid um let's go and raid no let's go raid rugard why the hell not all right with that being said guys as always if you did enjoy the show please make sure to hit that follow button if you haven't already though check out our extra life campaign we're trying to help your kids at sanford children's hospital here in fargo north dakota on that note, guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow for more Survive with Friends at 5 p.m. CST. Bye-bye!